I can see them too. You're just as sane as I am. them too. You're just as sane as I am. I can see them too. You're just as sane as I am. I can see them too. You're just as sane as I am. I can 
see them too. You're just as sane as I am. them too. You're just as sane as I am. I can see them too. You're just as sane as I am. I can see them too. You're just as sane as I am. Hey guys, how are we? How are we? How's everyone doing? Uh, let me go up and say hi to everybody really quick. Uh, so, Frost, thank you for the host. Welcome on in. Um, and hi, Frosty Jr. Hi, Cindy Ed. Welcome on in. Uh, congrats on getting first. And thank you for the host. Uh, Chrissy, welcome on in. Thank you for the host. Ashling, uh, thank you for the lurk. And hi, Kara. Um, let me see. Uh, hi, Kirsty. Thank you for the host. Adelina, thank you for the host. Welcome on in. And thank you for the lurk, Kirsty. Um, I hope your earache gets better. Um, and hi, Bex and Mrs. Boone Farm. Thank you both for the hosts. Um, Bex, you can lurk to eat food, but you have to tell us what type of food are you eating? Yes. Y you, you have to tell, you have to tell the group, what are you eating? So we can decide, are we jealous of you or are we just going to let you go eat on your own? I am to misbehave. Oh, hi, Bellow9love. Adelina! Coming back for 11 months. What the heck? Thank you. Thank you. We're almost at a year. What the heck? What is the heck? Um, and hi, Purple. Welcome on in. Thank you for the host. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but yeah, Adelina, thank you. Let me guess. You, you want purple. Am I, am I right in saying you want purple? Purple. 
Um, it does not feel like 11 months. I know, right? It does not feel like 11 months. That's what I thought, Adelina. That's what I thought. So, we're going to put a purple sticker right there for you. Uh, there's some of you that I know right off the bat what, I, what you're going to choose. Um, but typically, I will ask just in case you um, do decide you want to change it up. So. Yes. Um, so yeah, but, um, I do have a small challenge to you guys. We'll have to see, can, can we, can we deplete this sticky, the sticker sheet, um, by the 24th? So I honestly have no idea how is on, how many are on here, but can, our that that is my question to you i'm not going to tell you why i say that so yeah i i will say that is one of the things that i'm very interested in so um but yeah so how's everyone's day going you say yes we can yeah so uh the stickers we use for are only for the subs and resubs not gifted. So gifted don't count for towards a sticker. Um, cause I wanted something to make the subs and resubs a little bit more special and a little bit more acknowledged. So yes. Uh, but how's everyone's day going? How's everyone's Tuesday going? Um, and RXFT, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, share and get comfy. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Um, so had dentist appointment today. And, um, yeah, it went good. It went good. Um, my hygienist, I've gone to see her since I was like, yay, yay high. Yay high, I think. I think we figured it out. I think I was like four the first time, like, they documented seeing me. But I'd been, like, my mom has been going to them since I was like itty bitty. Um, so I've been to the same hygienist, same dentist my whole life. I think I've changed maybe like gone to a different one maybe like three times and that was because we were out of the area um but yeah so i was telling her about um how i talk about her sometimes and i'm always like i'm not afraid of the dentist it's the hygienist i'm afraid of um and how half the time I, we spend the time that the dentist that. is in the room with us um bullying him to try to get her a raise she started laughing so yes and I bookish. Thank you for the host. Welcome on in. Um, so yeah, it was great fun. Great fun. Uh, how many stickers are on here? That is a good question. We must math. Calcapator. One, two, three, four, five, six. Calcapator. Wake up. Calculator. Fine, I put I do it on my phone. All right, so we've got six down and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so this is a 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 62, 63. So 63. We have 63 sub, 63 stickers left on this sheet. So Yes, that that's the question. Can can we get sixty three unique subs slash resubs by the twenty fourth? And no, I'm not. That's that's one of the that's one of the secrets that I'm holding on to. So, yes, <laughs> I have a ton of secrets. I have a ton of secrets, ton of surprises in store. Um, August is going to be jam packed. So, yes. Yes. Um, and thank you for the Lark Bookish. Thank you, thank you. And hi, Ladybug. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. So, yes. That, that, is, that is my challenge to you guys. For us to, for us to fill the sticker. Just uh, not fill the sticker sheet. Uh, complete the sticker sheet. Before the 24th. Um, and hi, Ed, and, um, hi, Catherine. Thank you for the host. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Alrighty. So, also, too, guys, make sure you're grabbing your bingo cards. Make sure you're grabbing your bingo cards. 
So, yeah. There's, like I said, there's a, there's a lot coming, guys. There's a lot coming down the pipeline. Um, I just have to wait on a couple of things to kind of fall into place. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I did. I did. I, I almost said hi to you a second time. It's fine. Um, it's fine. Brain's not fully woken up uh, because today I had to get up super early. Um, then on Thursday, I will have to get up super early as well. However, on Thursday, there is a good chance that stream will either be pushed till later or it'll be uh, canceled. We'll have to see. Depends on the doctor. And Quirty! Uh, welcome on in, guys. Welcome on in. How are we? How are we? How's everyone doing? We're just getting started. We're kind of in our little chit chat, say hi air phase of the stream. Uh, but welcome on in, guys. Um, hold up. Let me move the alerts because I the flavor of the day is covering it, and then that way they can see that we can all see the fun alerts. Um, where is it? There it is. All right. Um, and Busy B, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, and get comfy. Uh, so guys, if you don't know who I am, my name is Abella. I do a bunch of stuff. Um, mostly Sims. Uh, right now we're on a big Sims kick. So, yeah. But welcome on in, guys. Welcome on in. Uh, let's see, today we are doing the Elemental Legacy, which is a challenge that I created with my friend Jake. Um, and we also do Not So Berry. Um, if someone would like to do exclamation point next in chat. What does this button do? I thought I moved it. thinks it's way too hot outside to purchase a certain special ticket in installments. Why are we summoning the DD? Thank you for the biddies, 007. Thousand biddies. Um, but it, but why are we summoning the DD so early? I can see them too. You're Nana, your timing. Perfection. Perfection. I love you for that. Uh, thank you for the host, Nana. Thank you, thank you. Um, but yes, so um, what was I saying before the, the DD broke the train of thought? Um, I have, my train of thought goes awake really quick, so I sorry. Um, but basically, the thing that you'll need to know about the cabana is we are full of chaotic sippage. Yep. Um, uh, by that I mean chat causes chaos. Um, and then when I try to rein them in and gain, regain control of the stream, they just sip at me. Yeah. Pretty much. Um, and I'm Echo. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, and get comfy. But yeah, welcome on in, guys. So yeah, we do Sims, not so berry. Um, if you do X base point next, that does give you a little bit of teaser over our upcoming 100 baby challenge. Um, what else do we do? We also have a board game that we created for the Sims that is based upon the game of life, but also has challenges in it. That's called Life on the Boardwalk. We just finished uh, one of those and Frost Advisory was the creator of our most recent winner. So that was fun. Um, yeah, as you can see, they're, they're sipping at me right now. So, yeah. Hey guys, guys, guys. Bellel nine sip, bellel nine sip, bellel nine sip, sippy, sippity sip. Yep. Uh-huh. Um, but double seven, while I am insanely grateful for that, that does not mean that it is, you are not getting shipped straight off to the chill zone. Of course, the mods have already beat me to it. Mods, that's the one little bit of enjoyment I get. Let me, let me ship people off to the chill zone. Um, but yes, but, uh, Cordy, if you do need to raid and run, I fully, fully, fully get it. Um, I know sometimes after you stream, it can be a little bit all wah and everything. So, um, if you do need to raid, run, de-stream, de-stress, potty break, whatever, please feel free to do so. I will do my best to take good care of them. I'm a potato. I'm a potato. I'm potato. I decided on an uncrustable popcorn and a pear. Looks like I am back in time for some button pressing Bellel 9 button. Okay, so I'm glad that I'm not the only one that didn't eat a quote unquote no. Guys, guys, guys. Excuse 
Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, whoever that was anonymous, thank you for the biddies, but um, you didn't need to scare me. Um, um, Emma. Oh, I see Emma. I see you come in. How well? How are you, my dear? How are you? How's everybody's day going? I hope it's going fantastically. Um, but yeah. It's one of those days. One of those days. I decided we're going to go live early because the dentist gave me a, a, a you have perfect teeth. So I was like, okay. Um, and then I immediately opened a Coke right afterwards. So, yeah. Um, but for those who are confused, for those who are confused, uh, we do have what's called flavor of the day here. Not sponsored. Wish it was. Would love it if it were. But so far, no joy. Um, but so uh, let's go ahead and do flavor of the day so I can get that off the, the top part. So that way it's all bye bye. Um, but yes, so, um, let's see. Yeah. So what, let, let's take a look and see what all, uh, you guys decided to do for your stuff, for your predictions. Uh, so basically I give the chat two options of what color, uh, drink I will be drinking today. Um, and they get to choose between the two colors. Today I gave them the options of blue or purple. Um, blue stood for a, a flavor called breezeberry and purple stood for a color, a drink called cosmic stardust. So yes. But, all right, okay, I'm taking a quick look. 55% of you said blue, and 45% said purple. So, go ahead and get your sips and chat, guys. Sips and chat. Thank you for the hype train. Y'all are very naughty. That's also why I'm getting this done now, because just in case, I don't trust y'all. I don't trust y'all. All right, so. So, the flavor of the day for today is, dun dun dun, it's blue, it's breezeberry today, it's breezeberry, it is a breezeberry, so congrats to those that chose blue, let's see who got the most. Who got the most pouty? Ooh, pouty lobster gambled 3,000, got back 5,550, uh, 5,500, 5, yeah. All right, yes. I sorry, Chrissy. I start maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Um. So yes, but if, for those that have never heard of Alani before, uh, they're energy drinks, but they also have like a supplement type thing, um, like supplements and other stuff. They're really good. Really good. Um. They're Vegan, gluten-free, um, sugar-free, um, have biotin, B6, and B12 in it, and it's 200 milligrams of caffeine, um, and the best part is there is no gross crash afterwards. So, yes, that's always, that's always a bonus when there is no crash. So, but yes, you guys are just in time. We're just doing our morning, uh, early day, like, catch up type stuff so and thank you for the pasta check emma so guys make sure that you are stretching popping your back popping your neck all those things uh, fixing your pasta alternatively if you are not wanting to do that you can go into the kitchen and check on your pasta to make sure that it is not lonely and if it's lonely then you're probably going to need to eat some pasta today mm -hmm. if you've been neglecting your pasta you're going to need to eat some um, and hi, Miss Emily. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. All right, guys. As Bex has thrown into chat, it is time to grab your bingo cards. If you are, have never been here before for the start of stream, we do a bunch of fun stuff just to get our juices flowing, just to get a little bit of fun stuff going on. One of those is we play bingo because, dang it, normalize everybody of all ages playing bingo. It's not just for old ladies. Even if I am an old lady. But yes. Bingo is for everybody. Bingo is for everybody. So, all right. I only swear that I'm up to no good. Thank you guys for the hype train. It was very sweet of you. 
Alrighty, so if you've never played Life Bingo before on Twitch, it's very, very simple. If you are on a computer, you will hover over the screen over to that side. It will say pop out and say Live Bingo. Tap that, tap grab your free card. Everybody gets one free card. You can get additional cards. They are 200 biddies a piece. Up to six additional cards. For our friends that are on mobile, it'll be right at the very top of your chat, directly underneath the stream in the right corner. Um, you do not have to dob anything. It will auto dob for you. However, once you get a bingo, it will require you to click where it says bingo and that will send it over to me to make sure that, um, I know that you have a bingo. So, yes. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. We, we have a lot of fun here. Like I said, it's full of chaotic sippage. We have fun. We have a lot of fun. So, all right. Once you guys have your bingo cards, um, if you are following, you do have access to my wave. So go ahead and wave um, or do an O slash. And we do have nicknames for a couple of the Pokemon. This is a Pokemon bingo. Um, so we have nicknames. We also have um, certain Pokemon stand for certain mods that I have. Um, so once we get to those, then I will let you guys know, um, which mod it's for, as well as what emote that we spam for each mod. So, yeah, lots of fun. Lots of fun. All right, I'm seeing waves and O slashes. All right. We're giving another couple of seconds for people to grab their bingo cards, and then we are going to be off and running. All righty. I can't with y'all. I can't with y'all. I'm, I'm still mad the mods took away my fun of uh, throwing someone in the chill zone. Rude. All right, let's get started with bingo. So... Ashling, you are the chosen one. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Uh, 50-50 shot on if you'll win. 50-50 shot. Looking at your card, you got some good ones on there. I see one, two, three, four. You have four mods. So you do have a good shot. No more chill zone? Uh, no. So, Adelina, the mods beat me to throwing 007 into the chill zone. Mm-hmm. They did. They did. All right, let's get going. Electabuzz. Nido King. Pinsir. Gyarados. Bulbasaur. Onyx. Venusaur. Magikarp. Slowpoke. Psyduck, now that's the anxiety Pokemon. It also stands for Bex. So if you have the wah, put the wah in chat. Otherwise, put the heart, put the love. Bex is a wah if you have it. If not, do the love. There we go. We have an Eevee. Farfetch'd with his leak. Wheezing. Ivysaur. Abra. Zubat. Bingo. Kirsty. Well, damn. Well, damn. That was over super fast. That was over super, super, super fast. All right, guys. If you've been here, well, you know the rules. If you were one away, put a root in chat. If you were two or more away, put a ban or a bop in chat. I think so. That was 16 Pokemon in. I think our record was 11. I think that was the record. Yes. Yes, that was the record. All right. And remember, guys, we are uh, saying rude and bopping bingo, not to the winners. It's because bingo is rude. So, alrighty. I don't believe we have anybody else throwing a bingo in. So, Kirsty, congrats, congrats, congrats. 
Congrats on winning a bingo. Um, but yes, if I owe you points from any of our mini games, um, all the points have already been updated. So if you do exclamation point popcorn, that will tell you where you are on the leaderboard. So taking a look at the monthly leaderboard. Ooh, Kirsty and Dice, you both are tied for number one. It is the start of the month, so very nice, very nice. Alrighty, well, thank you for that, guys. Thank you, thank you. Um, yes. Oh, by the way, if you guys did not see in the Discord, the Hall of Fame is now updated with our top sub gifter, our top spit cheer, and our top three bingo winners of July. So make sure you swing by um, and give some love to the uh, the Hall of Fame for July. If you are not in the Discord. There is your Discord join link, so that way you can pop on in and take a look. So, uh, the top sub gifter for July was, of course, Sam. Uh, the top bits cheer um, was 007, and the top three bingo winners were It's Breezy, A Kirsty Laura, and Claire. So, round of applause for them. All the claps, all the all the yays. Um, so yes. Yeah, so basically, if you want to get into the Hall of Fame, you just have to rank. You have to be uh, the number one in either the bits or the subs or uh, in the top three of bingo. And if that is if that happens, your name will go on the cute little hibiscus image and it'll go into the discord permanently. So, all right, guys. All righty. So. I'm annoyed with Sims, but I think it's more I'm annoyed with how um, the vet clinic is is running. So, yeah, that's always fun. Um, but looking at the birthdays, uh, we only have, yeah, so um, the kids, the twins will be aging up on Thursday. So what I was, so then we'll get to experience by Friday. It's Sunday in the game right now, but so on Friday we'll be able to go to high school. So we're going to have a little bit of high school gameplay today. So are we excited for it? I think I am. I, I think I am for it. So, but, um, yeah, let's pull on. We'll pop into Sims and you guys can take a look. The only thing I'm sad about is the fact that, um, our game is in winter time right now, so it is what it is, but Sims. All right, guys, so if you haven't seen the house before, this is the house. It is on the gallery if you'd like to snag it, but first things first, I did say I was going to let you guys get more chimkins, so... What what chi what what color chicken do we want this time, guys? What color what color chickens do we want? What yeah what what color chickens do we want today? So we already have two black chickens. Do we want to go with more black chickens? Do we want to go with a brown chicken, or do we want to go with a white chicken? So, what color chicken? Are we going to go with black? Are we going to go with brown? Or are we going to go with a white chicken? So, go minute. ahead and... Eh, we'll do a two-minute poll. Just as sane as I am. All right, go ahead and vote. Um, and L, welcome on in. And thank you for the host. Thank you, thank you. Brown chicken, brown cow. Anyone remember that? Yes, I do. That brings back good memories. Yes. Um, sometimes you turn off the season stuff. That is fair, slice of life. That is fair. Um, sometimes I do. Uh, we had to turn it off for um, when we did the air generation because we didn't realize that the um. Some of the plants were a uh, season based 
Or they updated with seasons. So, yeah. That was fun. Not. Um, but, yeah, guys. Go ahead and vote in the poll. If you don't see the poll, you may need to refresh. Yep. So, if you do not see the poll, you may have to refresh. Alrighty. And we'll see. What what do you guys... What... what what color Timkins are we looking at? Are we looking at more black ones? Are we looking at brown ones? Are we looking at white ones? And we'll probably, we'll, we're going to get two, two chickens, two Timkins. And yes, you guys will get to name the chickens. So make sure you are voting. You've got like, 45 30 ish seconds left to vote i wish it told you how long of a vote how long you have in the poll left i wish it told you hmm yeah i don't know all righty and poll's almost over so last minute voters now is your chance to get it in All right, and the winner is white. We're getting two white chickens. All right, we're going to get a white hen. Two white hens. Actually, no, we'll get a white hen and a white rooster. We'll get one of each, one of each. Uh, Yeah, we'll get one of each, because then that way you guys can give me... um. All right, so here's the white rooster. So, let's name the rooster. All right, guys, so give me some names. Give me some names for the rooster. Uh, and yeah, so there is a timer bar, but that doesn't tell me how many seconds are left in it. I have to estimate with it. So... All right, we're going to do a quick, we're going to do a poll for this one. You guys will get to use uh, channel points and bits to vote for it. All right, so we have. All right, give me three more names, three more names. Three, three more names, guys. Give me good ones. G give me give me good names for it. Um, f you can go funny, you can go random, whatever you would like. Um, and this is for the this is for the rooster. So, um, oh, so I've already put booster on. So I have a booster, and then I put a uh, foghorn leghorn on it. So give me three other names, guys. Three other names. We could keep Apple if we like, if you guys like that. All right, Sir Cluckers. All right, two more names, guys. Two more names. Give me two more names. Two more names. And then we can vote on it. All right, guys. Two more names. Two more names, guys. Uh, let me think. Let me think. What are what are funny funny rooster names? We, we want good ones. We want good ones. Oh, hey, hey, um, is hey, hey, a boy? Is hey, hey, a boy? Oh, wait, no, wrong thing. Not there. It goes, the, the pole's over here. That's right. Hey, hey, is a boy. All right. Um, and then, you know what? We are going to put nugget because that would be hilarious. So, 
All right, guys, go ahead and vote in the poll. If you don't see this poll, you may need to refresh. Oh, Slice of Life, that would have been a good one. That would have been a good one. All right, so make sure you're voting in the in the poll. We have Booster the Rooster, Foghorn Leghorn, Sir Cluckers, Hey Hey, and Nugget. So, yes. Make sure you are voting in the poll, guys. Do we want Booster the Rooster, Foghorn Leghorn, Sir Cluckers, Nugget, or Hey Hey? And and right, Foo Foo, right? Uh, yes, we will add Nugget to the female poll. Yes, we will. Nugget's just sort of like, because it's funny. Chicky Nuggy. Actually, if we add it to the female one, it won't be Nugget. It would I would put Chicky Nuggy for the name. But there is a chance that Nugget could win here. So, right now it is currently tied between Hey Hey and Nugget. So remember, you can use channel points and bits as well to cast extra votes. Uh, if you do not like how the poll is going, uh, make sure that you um, vote now because the poll is about to end. All right, uh, what about Chicky Tenders? Chicky Tenders is good. Uh, they are delicious, though. Uh, you named your chicks Nugget and Tender. That is amazing. Um, so we will, uh, when we do 100 Baby, guys, also keep in mind we will have um, chickens and um, cows in that 100 Baby Challenge. So we're going to need a like bunch of fun names. All right, so hey, hey. And then we have Matilda the White Hint. That's that's a no. That's a no. All right, so the hen name. All right, so do you guys want Nuggy or Hold on. We'll, we'll do Chicky Nuggy. All right. Um, give me a couple of good, a couple of funny, funny female, funny girl names for the chicken. I can see them too. You're just the same as I am. Welcome on Ensign. Thank you for the host. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you are totally fine. You are totally fine. We went live early today. All right, Princess Leia. All right, give me one. Give me one more. Give me one more. One more name, guys. One more chicken name. Shakira, I like that. Shakira, that's that's fantastic. All right, so and then all right, so go ahead and vote in this poll, guys. Shakira, that's fantastic. That is fantastic. All right, so go ahead and vote in the poll, guys. Uh, if you do not see the poll, you may need to refresh. So we have Hedwig, Chicky Nuggy, Lady Jugs, Princess Leia, or Chikira. All right. So you can use bits and channel points to vote today. Make sure you're getting your votes in. All right. 
This is a two minute poll, so you have just about a little over a minute left, guys. A minute left. Make sure you're voting. If you do not like how the vote is playing out on screen, then now is your chance to change that and make it the way you want it to be. All righty. Oh, Frost, how close are you to the to to number three? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to look. Because Bellabot can't do the um the popcorn command because she bought. Um. Oh. Oh. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. How close are you? Frost is. So Frost is three five two four three nine. Frost, you are just, you are 3,120 points away from Wyatt, who is number three. So, yes. All right, Princess Leia has won. Nice, nice. All right, Princess Leia. So, may I introduce you guys? To Hey Hey and Princess Leia, as well as Bradley Cooper and Eggland. So, all right, this is supposed to be locked for all dogs, for all pets. All right, so, lock for all chickens. Oh, no, 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 just aged up. Hold on. Lock for all pets. All dogs. All cats. All right. But wait, where is Nanook? No, Nanook's now an elder, guys. That's so sad. That is so sad. Frost, um, gamble 6,000, uh, 6,500. Let's see. Oh, wait. Hold up. Hold up. Frost. Okay, Frost, do exclamation point popcorn now. Exclamation point popcorn. I'm curious. You jumped all the way to second. You beat Bellabot. Nice, Frost. You beat Bellabot. Nice. So, um, Bellabot has uh, 3, 391,480 popcorn. Very nice, very nice. Everybody give give Frost a round of applause. Um shoot both of them out. You need to take a shower. No, mom, get mom, get out. Get out. Mom, go downstairs. Alright. Why are they all sleeping in the wrong places? Ajax, go sleep in your bed. My goodness. Sierra, can I have you take a shower, please? I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Thank you. All right. We're sending everyone to sleep, apparently. Oh, she can't because the cat's on the bed. All right. Is everyone just, like, exhausted? I guess. Alright. Well, there's really not much we can do right now, I don't think, for the kids. Yeah, see, both uh, level 5, great. Okay. Oh, that's right. She needs to do mental stuff. Do we not have... 
I thought we had we gave her computers. Okay. All right, we'll go play video. Hold up. I locked that. How is a ch how did a chicken get out? Hold up. How did the rooster get out? Okay. I'm so confused. I'm I'm so confused as as to how this this chicken got out. Hold up. Wait a minute. Delphine is upset about something. Hold up. Delphine all of a sudden has a fear of being cheated on. Why does she have a fear of being chick of cheated on? Oh, you're right. They might be able to go underneath it. Yeah, they can just walk directly underneath it. All right, so we're going to need a different fence. I thought this was a chicken-proof fence. Isn't that what it's called? No, it's X marks the spot fence. I thought it was a chicken-proofed fence. All right, so apparently that's not a thing. Wait, where's the cats and dogs one? There it is. All right. There we go. If, the, if they can get through that, I will be impressed. Yeah, if they can get through that, I will be impressed. Alright, move you there. And move you here. Okay. I think we fixed it. I didn't know I didn't know either. It makes sense. Now that I think about it, it makes sense. But Alright, so apparently. Just replace that. Apparently. Apparently she has a fear of being cheated on. So to fix that, we're just going to have her and Garrison go woohoo. Hi, Danny. How are you? You are totally fine. You're totally fine. We're just getting started. Um, We just found out that Delphine has a fear of being cheated on. So... She's going to be woohooing with Garrison now. If we get another kid out of this, I'm going to be so upset. I'm going to be so upset. All right. Yay! Uh, mental level four. Good. Now I can have her do a project. Oh, that's right. Y'all made Sierra a slob. That's right. Y'all decided that you were going to make Sierra a slob to make my life more difficult. That's what it was. Mm-mm. All right, kids. Oh, here it is. Okay, do that and do that. I can see them too. You're just as sane as I am. Um, and Danny, thank you so much for the host. Thank you, thank you. That's very sweet of you. Um, all right. You can wake up now. Okay, did this get rid of her fear? 
No. Alright, Garrison. Wake up. Wake up. We apparently we have we do have to talk. Talk about marriage. I don't I don't know. Declare love publicly. How do I get rid of this fear of being cheated on? Okay, talk about relationship fears. There we go. This is so weird. This is so weird, guys. Okay. Okay. Fear progress. Um, another day of communicating her worries will finally overcome her fears. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I like this new system. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Well, you have food down. Oh, yeah. These dogs. Oh, we still have technically have four. So I guess fill all four. Hold up. It looked like there was a bouncing rabbit right here. I'm confusion. I am confusion. Okay, so he does not have anything like that. She does, though. Interesting. Okay. Glitchy Sims? I know, right? All right, well, I think. What are your, oh, and she's also very tired. Of course she's very tired. Level eight hit is good. What is your skill at? Oh, it's almost there. All right, well, do that. Let's go ahead and open up the, um... yeah, let's open up the vet clinic. See, they're all very satisfied. Cedric's the only one that we really need to focus on getting his skills up. Yeah, I'm not sh I'm not sure. The vet clinic has just been a pain in the patootie. All right, what do you need for anything else? Nothing much. All right. Fair. Although we do really need money, though, so... Um, Garrison, if you wouldn't mind coming out here and tending the table. Yeah, that, that'd be great. Okay, thanks. And thank you for the drink reminder. Thank you, thank you. Let me finish off my Coke. Okay. Can we stock and start the yard sale? Yes. Ooh. Ooh, we might make some decent money off this, guys. You want me to do a snack time? You want me to do a snack time? You guys haven't redeemed that one in a while. Mm -mm. I shake my head at you. And you want to do a roaster. All right, all right. I can see them too. You're just as sane as I am. 
Thank you for the host, Blue Jay, and thank you for the lurk as well. Hey, dude, do you want a roaster? Uh, you approve Hot Pockets as a snack. Well, I had that for lunch. So I, I will go get some pretzels. Apollo, do you not want a roaster? Oh, were you sleepy? You were sleepy, weren't you? It's okay. Roaster? Chew it, chew it. Swallow. Good boy. All right, all right. Let me, um, I do not have a bowl in here, so let me grab a bowl. I have returned with my snackage bowl. my snack I have my snack so all right so yes guys tell us what snack do you have um you're drinking orange juice and berry flavored greens powder are you okay slice of life do you need help Blink twice if you need saving. Yeah, bl blink twice if you need saving. Um, okay, so Frost says animal crackers. Um, Danny, there's never a problem in when eating pasta. Never a problem at all, ever, if anyone tells you there is. Um, they are not to be trusted. Yep. Uh, you're eating wheat thins and cream cheese while you wait in your tater tot casserole to warm up for lunch. Nice, nice. Um, okay, so uh, Fearsome has, um, let's see, a baby bell cheese. Okay. Um, purple has a cosmic brownie. Okay. Uh, Christy had a lollipop. Okay. Um, and Jax is a potato. Fantastic username. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch chair, and get comfy. Uh, we did have somebody redeem snack time, which is a thing that where I have to, like, make sure I get a snack. Um, so, my snack is, hold on, you can't see it with that. The snap pretzels. There you go. 
pretzel snaps, yeah. Not the butter snaps, the regular snaps. Because the butter snaps, they taste weird. So, but yes. But thank you for that, Frost. Thank you, thank you. Um, let's see. Who else has a snack? Uh, Catherine has hot Cheetos. Okay. Okay. Wheat thins are amazing. Wheat thins are amazing. Triscuits are amazing. Actually, if I had to choose between a uh, wheat thins and triscuits, I would go triscuits all the way. Um, you had spicy pretzels last night. And you couldn't handle them. You thought of me. Yeah, the, from what I'm hearing, anytime people see like the spicy Cheetos or stuff like that, they think of me, and it's flattering. It's also sad. It's also really sad. Oh, uh, you like triscuits better too? That yeah, triscuits are. Triscuits and so if you take a if you take tris, a triscuit and then you tear off a piece of lunch meat um, To where like you can double fold it over it and then you put a little cheese on top That's the adult version of Lunchables and they're more filling than Lunchables because Triscuits themselves are filling So they're amazing Mm-hmm That was what I lived off of in the dorms when I was low on money. Um, because Mama Bella would bring me Triscuits to where I only had to get the lunch meat and the cheese. And half the time I would just swipe the cheese from the um, cafeteria and I would just have to buy lunch meat. Mm-hmm. Because I lived directly on... So from where my dorm room was to where the cafeteria was, I literally would go out my dorm room door take a, a quick right and then an immediate left and then another left to go down the stairs. And then as soon as you got to the bottom of the stairs, um, you took another left, you went down two doors and you were at the cafeteria. So it was very easy to sneak food out. Very easy to sneak food out. So, uh, you can't think of, unthink of Jake saying Triscuits look like ground and sweet. Jake has no idea. Triscuits are amazing. They are. A uh, grocery is so expensive right now. You don't know how students are able to afford it. I don't know how anyone's able to afford food right now. I'm just saying. So, yeah. I think I read somewhere that a family of four, the average grocery bill is now like $400 a month. And I'm like, that's ridiculous. And the feds just raised uh, rates again. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. At this rate, I don't know if we're going to be able to survive. Yeah. At least with food. Food is expensive. And I saw that they're raising Coke uh, prices again. And I wanted to cry. So, very sad. I miss the days of when a two liter was a dollar. Mm -mm. Yeah, very sad. Very, very, very sad. But, all right. So, I have my snackage. Um, everybody else has your snackage. O slash if you have your snacks and you're ready to pop back into the game. Oh, yes. Also, too, guys, if you're looking for a shell. If you are looking for a shell. Oh, wait. That's Life on the Boardwalk. Wrong thing. Well, yeah. I mean, if you want to make Sims for Life on the Boardwalk, go ahead. Uh, but. If you want a shell, I do have a shell. The shell is out. If you want a shell, go ahead and do a shell. Uh, it is on the gallery, so go pop a look at that. Actually, I will show you. If it decides it wants to load, that'd be wonderful. That would be absolutely wonderful. Also, too, yes, tomorrow is very important because tomorrow uh, we are starting all the prep work for the fourth run of our 100 Baby Challenge. So if you love 100 Baby, tomorrow is your day. All right, back to Sims. 
Maybe if it'll load. All right, so it is right here. This is the shell. Should be a lot of fun. I've already started building on it, so yes. There's a bunch of stuff up here too, guys. Uh, the, the house we're currently in, Dogwood Acres, that is on the gallery if you would like it. Um, we do have the pink gen of the not so berry bed, uh, bedroom. We have um, Scar and Fiona's house in Strangerville. We have the, my version of the shell that we just did. Um, this one we got, we built as a community on stream. Um, but it was like almost done. So I just hurried up and finished it and threw it up on the gallery for you. So if you'd like a lakeside cabin for Granite Falls, there you go. And then of course the shell. So this shell is due on the 24th, which is the official two year anniversary. Um, but we'll be touring them on the 25th. So yes. Um, both of our kids doing the projects, they are good. I need you to sleep. I need you to sleep. Thank you. She can go sleep and then we'll sell stuff out here. So yeah. I did see that there were quite a people that have already started working on the shell, which is really fun. So uh, if you guys have any questions about the shell, just let me know, because I did add a couple of trick things to it. Well, like two, but yeah. It should be very interesting. Uh, you'll probably wait until the last minute again. You, you know you by now. I do that too. It's really sad. And then I'll forget that somebody was touring them. And then I'll realize like a week later I forgot to finish it. That's me. That's definitely me. I did that with... Um... Oh, hey, Sierra's responsible now. Really? That, that's all you bought? That's it? All right. Well, this is ridiculous. Um, come sell these. Wait. You can sell eggs? Okay, hold up. Um, clear table. Hold up, clear the table. And stock table. Yeah, do this. All right, stock the table. There we go. Okay. I wanted to get all the... These things out, because we can sell them. We're just going to sell them normally. Because we're not going to get much out of that. Although, this is the save file, guys, where we learned that we can sell dog poop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, you're gonna do Ravishing's Teen Room Challenge and totally spaced on it? Yes. Um, so also, guys, another good place to find Sims challenges is on a place called Player State. Um, I'll link it in the Discord. Hey, they're both done with their projects. Great. Um, uh, put in your inventory and then, like, fix your needs, please. Yeah, go, go fix your needs, please. Thank you. Uh, put that in your inventory, and then I'll let you do what you want. So, yeah, it's a really good place to, place to find, uh, challenges and such. Um, you want to do it because you discovered you like doing them, and you need to justify the time away from packing and moving? Um, yeah, I, so what do you guys think about me doing, like, shell challenges and room challenges? Because I've been really considering doing room challenges, too. What are our thoughts on it? Here, we'll, we'll do a poll. You guys let me know. All right. Eight. 
And... All right, let's do it for... All right, go ahead and vote, guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. Would you like to do um, room challenges? So these are be to where I would tell you create a specific room. I would give you this, the outline for it, and you guys would create me a room. So let, let me know. Would you like to do room and shell challenges? Um, this is where I would continue uploading the shells like we have been. Um, but I would also do a challenge in between of rooms. So let me know. I'm, I'm interested to see what you guys want to do. All right. Stock the table. Start the yard sale. Wait, can you give dogs baths by chance? Can the kids give dogs baths by chance? No, you can't. Okay. Well. Fooey. What about f get leftovers? Okay, that works. That works. Wait, did I have to build a house with a room submitted? We'll see. I'm not agreeing to that just yet. I'm not agreeing to that just yet. Okay. Okay, so it looks like overwhelmingly, uh, unanimously so far at this point, uh, you guys want to do room challenges. All right. All right, we could do that. I know you're hungry and you're tired. But I need to sell stuff. So. Please buy my crap. That's what this boils down to is buy my crap. All right. So 100% you guys want to do room challenges. All right. Ooh. 360. What sold? A fossil. Okay. Or no, was it was it a ducky? It was a ducky that sold. All right. Well, in that early, because you are hungry and tired, so come get food. Come get some food, and then I'll let you go sleep. Nope. Go to sleep. How exhausted slash... Oh, you're perfectly fine. Get up. She can go to the vet clinic then. And everyone else can stay home and sleep. Because we're making decent amounts. But I'll wait till everybody's in bed. Or at least, no, you know what? I'll wait till he eats that and then, then, then we'll go. Because you also need food too. Yeah, this should be fine. Yeah, we should be fine. All right, we're good. Go to the vet clinic. Let's let's see what the damage is. I'm betting the damage is actually going to be really bad as far as like gross stuff everywhere. But hey, um, you know what you find super annoying when the game declares a pregnancy and can't exercise, right? No, I agree with that. 100% agree with that because I know a ton of women that when they were pregnant, they exercised the entire pregnancy. Like right up until the day before they gave birth. So like just because Sims like make it to where they can't push their limits. But they can do the basic workout or basic yoga or basic meditation. Stuff like that. Like women do it all the time while pregnant so yeah um could be less intimidating for you just starting out that is true that is very true um and also with room challenges there's not as much of a pressure of um making the making it functional so you can focus on making it pretty all right so manage cedric pay for training brief training Wait, Thimble, 
we get here and Thimble dies? That's so sad. We literally walk in the door and our rodent dies. That's so sad. That is very sad. Mm-mm. All right, well, Bubilus is very hungry. Of course he is. Someone go, someone go feed, wait. Bubilus is busy, come back later, but he's hungry. Why can't I go here? Wait till Bubilus is done. We gotta feed our, we gotta feed our, our Bubilus. I get he's busy, but, um, let me feed you before you die of starvation. Are you? No, you are not pranking the toilet. Fine, I'm going to have you craft some wellness treats, um, until... Until we can feed you. What the heck? What the heck? I'm about to reset you. Alright, come here. I'm trying to feed you. Go here. Reset... I'm resetting it, but it's not letting me feed him. Use bed. Okay. Oh, he's right there. Okay. Use sand bath. Why can't... We're gonna try to move it and see if that helps. There it There we go. No, it didn't help. All right, we're going to save the game. We're going to go to Man's World. I'm not letting the booby die. I don't understand why it's doing this, but I'm 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 not letting the booby die from hunger. this happened before all right play at the wellness clinic i can see them too i'm double seven thank you for the They're host thank you thank you why are you not letting me feed the booby every time you see the, the maps yes he did finally update for the um the patch and apparently, apparently he's making ones that are, um, daytime as well. So.
So if you don't like the nighttime version, um, he is making daytime ones at some point. All right, come here, the booby. He's busy. Um, guys, I think we might be losing the booby too. I, th I think we might be. I don't know. We'll find out. We shall find out. I mean, we're making money. So there there is that. That is good, but... I don't know why I can't fix that. How much is left in our thing, by the way? Two things are left. All right. I can't I can't feed the, the, the rodent. I don't know why. Vlad, get out of here. Bubilus is very hungry. I know, but it won't let me feed. It will not let me feed the Bubilis, so I don't know what's going on. I, I, it just says, Bubilis is busy, come back later. Bubilis is busy, come back later. Bubilis is busy, come back later. It makes no sense. None whatsoever. We barely have enough to pay our bills. I don't know what we're going to do for an inheritance for these kiddos. I really have no idea how we're going to do an inheritance for them. I really do not. All right. Call him a good pet. I can't feed him. You're glitched. Where, where, why are you walking through? Why are you walking through a wall? Vlad doesn't like it anyone, apparently. Hey, I see a four. I see a four walking around. All right. Um. Take temperature, skin, fur inspection, listen to heart. That's kind of my three that I do for each time we do a vet. See, like, they keep trying to come back here to feed the thing. It really is glitched. All right, the cat has pyro toes. So the cat gets a pyro an antifungal spray. A Vlad, no, no. Um, and strawberry lover, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, and get comfy. Did he? I was gonna say you best come back here. There we go. All right, I'm gonna put the put him in the household inventory because I'm not sure. We don't need a tactical map, no. Yeah, so I'm gonna just put him in the household inventory and we'll see. That may fix him. I don't know. At the very least, I don't think he'll die. I don't think it'll he'll die. Um, but welcome on in, Strawberry Lover. Welcome on in. Um, and which part? The, um, the vet clinic or, um, cats and dogs? Or the, um, hamster cages? Uh, cause this right, this is based, this is using, um, the expansion pack for Sims, cats and dogs. Um, and the hamsters are from the kit 
Um, not kit, the stuff pack, my first pet stuff. Um, and yes, yeah, so this is a, a vet clinic that I built, um, for the, basically for the save file. So, yeah. We're mopping away because the cats are gross. Yep, we're mopping away because the cats are gross. Really? Who pranked my toilet? No, Coda became an elder. Oh, no, Coda became an elder. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, we're up half a star. We're up half a star. We've been open 14 hours. Let's close. All right. So, Cedric is vet 3, charisma 3. Vet 10, charisma 9, 9, 9, 9. Okay. We lost a star. Uh, okay. Um, the vet clinic is cats and dogs. Yes. Vet clinic is cats and dogs. All right. Well, this sucks. Okay. Both of you study hard. I need you to do this. Um, empty the trash when you're done. Really? And it has to be gross? Okay, well. Let's put the one vet treat we were able to make. Alright, so bring Garrison here. Garrison, I'm gonna need you to make vet treats. Because we need the we need the money. Yeah, we, we need the money. So, yeah, just whatever helps. Yeah, what whatever helps. Why are you terrified? Wait, looming dread from the fear of death? Since when are you afraid of death? Wait, what? Fear of being cheated on and the fear of death. Is it because you got electrocuted or something? No, she didn't get electrocuted. I don't understand this, guys. I don't understand this. Uh, yes, owning a restaurant is uh, dine out. Um, owning a retail center is get to work. Owning a vet clinic is cats and dogs. Yes. And then, um... Yeah, so restaurant is dine out. Retail store is get to work. And a uh, vet clinic is cats and dogs. Yes. Yes. Well, I don't know what all we can do with her now because now she's terrified I can't even get rid of the scared moodlet all right come repair this I yeah you can't do anything she's too scared to do anything All right, so we can't do any of those. But we can throw these in here. Yeah, we'll sell those. Sell those. And then I'll sell these two items. All right. So we've made a little bit of money. Not much, but we made a little bit. Hi, Wyatt. Uh, can she take a bath? I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, so, like, she can do everything normally. Take a panicked poop. But she can't talk herself down. 
So it makes no sense. I mean, she's taking a, a shower anyway, but like, you see what I mean? Like, there's there's no way to calm her down other than to take a panicked poop. And it, then it doesn't even tell her that it's gonna... You see, it's weird. I don't get it. I, d I don't get it. Yeah, don't I don't get it. All right. Um I was wondering why she Maybe sleep? I can see them too. We'll give it's it a try. I mean, I worst am. case scenario it won't work. Uh thank you for the host Wyatt. Thank you. Thank you. Um May see it's weird. All right, all right, there we go. There we go. That got rid of it. So sleep they have to Really? So she gets over being scared of death and then wakes up from a nightmare? Really? Open the vet clinic. Yes, I know you're cold. It's because you're a... Uh, you're... <sighs> Thank you. Change your clothes. All right. Cedric. Where is Cedric? Cedric, I need you. Oh, we didn't promote him yet? No wonder he's neutral. Promote the dude. Alright, yeah, go inside. Okay. And apparently we have to mop and clean this stuff up. I swear, Cat, if you puke on something again, I will be so upset. Do not puke. Do not puke. No puke. This is a no puke zone. Uh, yeah, Cedric is our ex-boyfriend. Yeah, Ced Cedric is our ex-boyfriend. He's the one that, um, oh, wait, he was he the one? No, he wasn't. He was the one that actually gave us a chance. The other one who I can't remember his name. What was his name? Hold up. We got to see. What was his name? It was Garrison and Cedric. Hold up, what was his, what was the third, who was the third one? Aww. Hannah was the, uh, um, was the one that he, that they, um, moved with. But who was, the, who was our third option? I don't remember. Yeah, well, I was looking to see if Garrison was on there. Was it Arnold, was it? No. Has she really forgotten him already? Hold up. We got to go to the hashtag. It was Garrison, Cedric, and who was our third one? 
Uh, so the, for those that are wondering what, what I'm talking about, um, I do, I, every time we have a new gen that's, that is able to, um, that, um, is ready to move out and start dating, um, I let you guys create sims for the, um, heir to kind of go on dates and, like, narrow down who is the best fit for them. So, yeah, so we had Cedric. Because, yeah, for not so very, it was, um, uh, Mabel... Holly and Fiona with Tiffany for uh, Freddy. Uh, for the Elements Legacy, it was Cedric, Hannah, Garrison. It was Jonas. That's who it was. It was Jonas. Jonas wins. So do you not even know Jonas either? Okay, she does not know him anymore, which... Oh, okay. One of my mods is broke. Lovely. Alright, but looking at here, he... He doesn't know Jonas either, so I guess Jonas just, like, noped away. Alright, alright, okay. Okay, good to know. Good to know. I have a mod I have to fix. Uh, you've been broken a while. Thanks for telling the world. Sorry. Okay. Wait. Where is Cedric? Oh, there he is. Okay, so Cedric. Let's promote him to vet level three. And then pay for more training. All right, so we've promoted him to level three, and we've sent him for more training. So, maybe? 468 Garrison. That's terrible. Did you even get promoted? No, his, his performance is not going up. All right, guys, so since his performance has not gone up, two shifts in a row, um, should we manually... Should we move his performance? All right, so go ahead and go ahead and vote guys. Should we um, manually adjust Garrison's performance? Because um, it's not it's it's moved very little if at all. So yeah. What do, what do we think? What do we think? Should we manually adjust the performance? Oh my gosh. Why is there so much crap everywhere? You're not happy with how this place looks, but it's because of... Um, Yeah, and just watch. As soon as I mop it, she'll be happier. Where is there... That's from your dog. That is from your dog. Why are you penalizing me for something your dog just did? I cannot. I cannot. I'm literally I'm literally cleaning everything up as it happens and they're still penalizing me. This is bogus. All right, so you guys think we should manually do it. Okay. We can do that. Where is it? This. So we'll pop it up to 90.
Oh. All right, there we go. So we popped it up to excellent. We shall see. We shall see. Yeah. Stop penalizing me for stuff others are doing. What's wrong with you? What are you saying is gross? Is something dead in here? Sell all. I don't get it. I don't get it. Sounds like another Beck or Sims gameplay, lol. Yes, a hundred percent because Sims. A hundred percent because Sims. And then empty the litter storage. All right, so apparently I'm on cleaning duty. Apparently, I'm on cleaning duty, but thank you for those 007. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. Did you really empty? You did. Okay. We have an outdoor trash can. We have this. So is this not considered an outdoor trash can? It should be. It needs to be. It ought to be an outdoor trash can. I'm just saying. There we go. Now you have two outdoor trash cans. Can, can you take the trash out? Thank you. I guess they don't consider a dumpster, a dumpster an outdoor trash can anymore? Since when? Is that a, that feels like it's a new glitch. It was saying it was full. Oh. All right. I've never paid close attention to the dumpsters. Um, but the next one I believe is eco lifestyle. So we'll have to pay closer attention to it where where's there more where we've got this right here we don't need yeah, no more please no more please no more please let this right here be the last of it Okay, we're back up to three and a half stars. Okay. Three seventy six. It's going good. Why have we been open for eight hours and there's only four customers? Do I have to buy another vet rush again? No. Well, that makes no sense. Let me clean this up, please. Mop. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. We do have quite a bit in business funds. We do. There is that. Okay, why, why aren't you mopping the whole thing? Delphine, what is wrong with you? And see, we lost the half star that we got. Thank you. All right, we put that back. I, I have no idea how else to help. Other than let's just make a bunch of treats and hope this works. Yeah, I, I don't know what, what else to, to do. 
Uh, Garrison... Oh, he just eats FUD. That's fine. We'll bring him here. And he can craft stuff, too. Yeah, he can craft stuff, too. Yeah, that's no big deal. We'll make a bunch of money off this stuff, so, yeah. Just come here and craft everything you possibly can sell. Everything you can possibly sell. Alright, go do that. Fingers crossed that this works. We are going to save, though, because it is getting a little bit glitchy. Um, Change the number of stars from getting a certain number in business funds for the challenge. I, yeah, I wonder. I need, I need to talk to Jake about this, because this is getting ridiculous. We have been fighting to get above three stars. We have been fighting to get above three stars, and it's ridiculous. We get right up there, and then it takes it away from us because of animals puking on the floor. Like, that... Yeah, some, something seems off about that, so... And Frost, you want to do a pick your poison? We can do a pick your poison. All right, guys. So how pick your poison works is um, I pick two different um, cards and you guys tell me which you would prefer one or the other. So. Pick your poison. Would you rather only be able to read out loud or um would you rather attempt to clear a 50 foot jump on a motorcycle without any training So, let me put this at... Alright, so, would you rather only be able to read out loud, or would you rather attempt to clear a 50-foot jump on a motorcycle with no training or experience? And the experience is in both um, motorcycle riding as well as um, trick r driving. I'd rather only be able to read out loud. Because I, I don't think I'm brave enough for the second one. Yeah, I don't think I'm brave enough for the second one. So, this is why you're the adventurous one? This is fair. This is fair. So, all right, which one would you guys rather do? Okay, hold up, you guys just tied it. Uh, you do the jump, but only after being trained to do it. Yeah, so the attempt is, the for this purpose, um, you have to do it without training. Um, so yeah, that, if I got training and like extensive training, maybe. Um, but the fact that there is no training involved, I'm going to say no. Uh, you're terrified of heights, so definitely no jumping, right? First time you ever land... First time you, uh... First time on an upper dirt bike, you went from first to third, popped a wheelie, and landed. See, that's fair. That's fair. Tell me you're an introvert without telling me you're an introvert. Rather do a dangerous thing rather than speak. Which is fair. Of course, y'all tied it. Of course, y'all did. Mm -mm. Of course, you tied it. Am I surprised? No, I'm not surprised. I am most definitely not surprised. Um, you're an introvert, but you can read out loud to yourself. So the the interesting thing to note about this card, guys, is it does say only be able to read out loud. It does not say at what volume. It doesn't say if you can whisper it or not. 
Because if you're reading it out loud and you're reading it under, like very quietly, I mean, I'm just saying loophole, loophole. Uh, you've never been able to whisper in your life. See, that's, that's no fun. That is no fun. Now, I'm sure we could teach you. I'm sure we could definitely teach you sin. Your voice carries too well. I mean, I had to learn how to whisper. I can't stage whisper though. I definitely can't stage whisper. That is the downside of everything, but I can whisper. All right, throw that in there. Uh, I think let's go ahead and get rid of these. We don't need them. Sell those. Put that in there. Oh, two of those. Okay. What's he got in here? Ooh. Cool. Okay, he's making they're making some money for us. Maybe. Ah, there we go. That's what's the problem is we didn't have a vet rush. Uh, no, we're going to wait on the vet rush until after we promote, um, what's his name? So let's go ahead and close. It'll be a loss. Vet four, Chris before handiness four. Okay. So here's the problem. Cedric is going to be an elder. All of them are going to be elders very soon. All of them are going to be elders very soon. And that's not going to be good for uh, our bottom line. So, yeah, not fun. Um, I don't think it's so, I don't think it's the whispering that's the hard part. It's the learning where how to pitch your voice. Because if you learn how to pitch your voice, then that like you can pitch not just like um, volume, but like where your voice is coming from. Because like I always wanted to learn ventriloquy, ventriloquism, and I, I've just never been able to like not move my mouth. Um. So the patch, I think, it, last I heard, it was coming out on Friday. Let me look. Last I heard, the patch was scheduled for Friday, so let me double check. Um... Okay, so The Sims hasn't officially announced when the patch is coming out yet. It's just sometime this week. Yeah, just, just sometime this week. So, yeah. Um, just looking to see if there's anything else. Yeah, I don't see anything that says a specific date yet. Yeah, so, but the good part is that they did, that supposedly, um, the high priority is the, um, unwanted, wa unwanted relationships that have, that have been forming. That's supposed to be the biggest, um, update that they're fixing, followed by the, uh, random auto-aging. So, yeah, that, that'll be nice. That, that'll be nice. We have not had an issue with that yet in our saves. Oops, Bills. Um, where is, is this business? No. Pay Bills, there we go. There we go. Um, so yeah. Uh, one of your saves has a long lifespan your entire generation of elders died oh no so we don't play on long lifespan that's probably why 
I used to only play on long lifespan. Um, but with so many challenges, you have to do it those challenges on normal lifespan. Um, so if I don't have normal lifespan, I typically just turn aging off. So, yeah. Hmm. Good to know, though. Good to know. Did you even eat? You did. Okay, good. Use and go home, actually. Go home. Garrison's got to finish making stuff so we can restock. Poor Garrison. <laughs> Poor Garrison. I love that. Um. Um. An EA page about a patch data today. Um. So, yeah. So, I would not trust that. Uh. Because it sounds like it's a placeholder. Yeah. It looks like it is a placeholder. Um. Unless Ninja just. Okay. No. So, it just came out. So it they're they're releasing it right now. Okay. Yeah, so people are saying even though they posted about it, it's not active to download. So yeah. I, I would say it's not gonna be available for another hour or two. So probably won't be till later on today for everybody. Um, so it looks like they're rolling it out, but it has not come out, so, yeah. Um, and looking at it, it looks like, okay, so it looks like they just changed the aging. Um, and the parameters on, um, flirtations. But, yeah. That seems to be about all they fixed. So, not not much. It fixed important things, but it didn't fix everything. Alright, alright, go home. And, wait, school starts for the kids in an hour? And we didn't do, wait, they're both A students, though. It's fine. And then work for it for him starts in three hours. Okay, fair. Uh, but it's only Tuesday. So we have, um, you know what? Since their technical birthday is on Friday. Well, if we age them up the night before, would that, would that hurt anything? I look. That, that, that. Yeah, yeah, you, of course you tell me to look at that point. Of course you do. Of course you do. All right. So the mods are bugging me to take my, to do my eye break really quick. So, um, what do you guys want? Do you guys want words on stream or do you want Gartic? Words on stream or Gartic? Let me know guys. Do not sip at me. Do you want words on stream or Gartic? It is up to you. So here, we'll, we'll do a quick 60 second poll. All right, so you want words or Gartic? 60 second poll and go. Go ahead and vote. Do you want words or Gartic? All right, while we're doing this, let me save. All right, so words are Gartic. If you don't see it, you may have to refresh. 
I will open up whichever one you guys decide you want instead whichever one of the two you want so words are gartic do not tie the pole we cannot do both we cannot do both um because you can't have two i mean i we technically could but i think it would be very confusing for everybody so words are gartic you would have to do them back to back yeah you you would have to do them back to back all right you guys want gartic that is fair we shall do Gartic then. Are you going to load? There we go. There we go. All right, so let me unmute. All right, guys, so you guys know that, well, for this one, we'll have to figure out how long each of the rounds are for the spicy. So, all right, good luck. This one's a bit odd. The middle one might be a TV or TV remote, maybe? I don't know. Three's horror, like terrifying. So good luck with this one. Good luck with this one. All right, so I'll be right back. Good luck. Yeah, that that one's that one's weird, but okay, I should be right back.
All right, guys. So how we doing? I don't know if I could be of any help with these. But hey, you guys did pretty good. You guys did pretty good. All right, we're going to pause that. Okay, okay. Um, and I did see that um, you guys had struggled with the first one, but that, that other one was hard. Yeah, the one I walked away, that one was hard. So, you did good on this one. You did. You did. So, pat yourselves on the back. Round of applause. All those things. All those things. And welcome back, Blue Jay. Welcome back. Welcome back. All right. So, yeah, the patch, um, definitely you might want to look into the patch. Um, I am not going to, um, I, I'm not going to restart the game. I, yeah, it just, it seems that, um, yeah, it seems like it's for the people that are having issues with like aging and such. So we are not having that issue. So I will wait to update till afterwards. Just in case the uh, patch breaks a couple mods. So, but, all right. Uh, before you're playing this, you're cleaning your living room. His son was in an overstuffed chair and his twin walked by and freaked out. Uh, oh my God, no. Oh God. Oh, I, I would, I would burn the house down. No. No. Nope. Nope, everything everything will go. It's a sixth one you found? Oh, bookish. It's time to call an exterminator. It's time to call an exterminator. A hundred percent. No. When you find one, you call the exterminator. If you find multiple, you call the exterminator and then you call a realtor and you get out. Because, no. No. Like, I, I don't like those. I don't like them in general. But, n no. 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 Exactly, Frost. Exactly. M must, must say goodbye. It was a nice house. It served you well until it did not. Yeah. And hi, Julianne. How are you? How's your day going? Oh, no. See, I would not have moved in then. I would not have moved in. You couldn't pay me to live there. Nope. All right, go play Party Frenzy. Ah. We forgot about the we forgot about the fact that we had laundry. Uh, do laundry. Um, no. So, um, add to washing machine. I think we're just gonna have to have them do laundry or something. Yeah, I'm gonna have her do laundry. Yeah, please, please do that. Oh, hey, I don't have to have her pick that up. And work for Garrison starts in an hour, but he is exhausted. This poor guy. So we need to quickly fix all of his needs. Wait a sec. I heard a, I heard a bad noise. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. No, you cannot go to sleep. I know you're tired. But you cannot. I am sorry. Add to washing machine. Both of those and then, then you can sleep. Uh, help clean. Sure. Sure. Uh, get him a potion. We might have to. He, I don't think he has enough. 
I don't think he has enough. Um, he'll get a little bit of sleep before he goes into work. Maybe? Nope. Okay. Sorry, Garrison. Sorry about that. Yeah, go go to work. We are sorry. All right, wash laundry. Make sure he's working hard. And then come here and go to sleep. Yeah, we're just going to send her to sleep. Our schedule is so off, it's totally fine. Um, you can only play so long without UI cheats. Keeping everyone's needs up, let alone your own, is exhausting. It can be. It really can be. That's why, like, half the time, all of my sims are miserable. Yep, that, that's why half the times they're always miserable. Yep. All right, so... Oh, both of you, everybody study hard or work hard. Okay, thanks. Because, uh, Garrison, I'm going to need you to get promoted. The entire purpose of you having a job was to bring in the extra money so we would be able to withdraw from the, um, the vet clinic for our children to have some money when they leave. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to need you to have some money. Please. No, Coda. We don't we don't have time. I am so sorry. I'm opening it, opening the the vet clinic. So you're going to have to come in and 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 work instead of go play. I sorry. Uh, you have I can't live without mods UI cheats. Two of them. Um, so my I can't live without. Where is my mod list? Alright, so my can't live without mods are. Um, let's see. Better build by tool, MC command center, UI cheats, uh, more columns. I use the five column one. The red shelf. Um, and, um, my, uh, cosmetic mods, which are my cast background, my loading screen, and my map replacements, as well as my reshade. So, yes. Um, and Monica, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, and get comfy. Um, reminds you, you need to pick up some Milani. Yes. Um, so we can't find the Rocket Pop anywhere in the stores anymore. So we're gonna have to, um... I'm going to have to order it from the website, and I'm very sad about that. Very, very, very sad. But, you know, it is what it is. I want it. I can't find it anywhere. I shall have to order it. Oh, uh, you just found out about reshades. I absolutely love taking pictures with that. Yeah, so actually, I play with the reshade on. This is what it looks like without the reshade on. No, thank you. you can, I mean, it's not bad. It's definitely not bad, but like compare with the reshade, without the reshade. I mean, I could get used to playing without it again, like fine, um, but it just, it brings out the color and brightens everything up with the reshade. Oh, uh, the one you use is blurry. I use Miss Lollipop Sims. Mm -hmm. I use her reshade. All right, people, people. Why you gotta leave our food out? That's wasteful. Wait, did you sleep? You did sleep. Okay. So come get some leftovers. Yes, come get some leftovers, and then I'm gonna send you to the, um, to the vet clinic. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, you're welcome, Slice of Love. Yes. Uh, so if you also look on my Tumblr, I have also reblogged a couple reshades that I liked on there as well. So reshades, it depends on what you're doing. Uh, for if you're doing screenshots, you're going to use a different one than gameplay. Um, and there's also G-Shade as well, which I haven't looked into much. 
Um, but I know that there's a couple of good G-Shade uh, presets as well that you can use. So... What, what, what are you doing, Makani? Shouldn't, wait, shouldn't Makani have aged up already? Yeah, okay, so it, the aging is glitched then. She should have aged up as well. Where is Nanook? Four days left. Bubbles. Yeah, so, okay. We are gonna have to reload the game. Dang it. All right, all right. Because then we also have Bubilis having an issue. So, all right, let me go ahead and restart the game. This is bogus. Because just exiting out of the save file and going right back in doesn't fix the age problem. When it comes to the pets. Oh, you're actually using G-Shade, but a lot of the reshades are compatible with it. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah, it, sometimes it happens. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh, it really just depends. So, let's... Let me see. Oh, man! All right, give me one sec. It's making me do an update. So, uh, guys, if you are updating, make sure that you are backing up your tray and your saves. Because there is always the, the risk that your saves will get corrupted. So, give me just a couple of seconds. This is supposed to be a quick thing. Alright. If it says it's going to take longer than two minutes, I'll give you guys Gartic. It seems to be... Maybe... Yeah, it's 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 a minute and ten seconds, so. Oh, uh, you'll have a dance party with yourself? No, no by yourself. Alright, we should be good. Here, let's find a let's find a, a better dance party. What about This one's not a bad dance party? I mean, it could be better, but it's not like ba a bad dance party. I don't think. No, this is a good one. This is like a, a bop your head while you're driving down the the dr down the street song. Yeah. All right. It says finalizing. Maybe. Maybe. Well, I thought this was going to be a quick one, two thing. Sims, are, are you alive? Uh, Sims, thank you. I was going to say, I, I was going to say, Sims, are you dead? Oh, shoot. I forgot to throw the mods back in. Uh, 
Um, hold up. Let me double check. Deadpool. Okay. So, close this. I don't need that. I need to re put it back in. Looks like nobody has said so far that it's broke. Things are broken. Just obsolete stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, so, all right. Close out. Put the mods back in. Mods. I go. Thank you. All right. We should be good now, guys. Emphasis on should. Yeah, emphasis on should. So, thank you for the dance party, guys. Thank you, thank you. All right, third time is the charm. Third time is the charm. All right. We don't want free earbuds for Sierra. Okay, we should be back in business momentarily. Momentarily. All right, maybe. We could have taken a whole nap and a half in this process. We really could have. This is the loading screen that never ends. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. Some people started waiting, not knowing what it was. And they'll continue waiting for forever just because this is the loading screen that never ends. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. Some people started waiting, not knowing what it was. And they'll continue waiting for forever just because this is the loading screen that never ends. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. Some people started waiting, not knowing what it was. And they'll continue waiting for forever just because this is the loading screen that never ends. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. Some people started waiting, not knowing what it was. And they'll continue waiting for forever just because this is the loading screen that never ends. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. Some people started waiting, not knowing what it was. And they'll continue waiting for forever just because this is the loading screen that never ends. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. Some people started waiting, not knowing what it was. And they'll continue waiting for forever just because this is a loading screen that never ends. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. Some people started waiting, not knowing what it was. And they'll continue waiting for forever just because this is a loading screen that never ends. Oh my god! Seven rounds of the song, guys! It took seven rounds, and that was after I got annoyed. And hi, Thatcher. Um, so, ah, of course. Of course that's out of sync. Whatever, it's fine. Um, we were having an issue with one of the dogs not aging up. 
So, yeah. Yeah, so sadly, sadly I had to restart, but we shall see. All right, Makani, I need you to age up, please. Thank you. Also, our, our booby didn't want to let us feed him, so that was also a problem. Yeah, so I hate when they push out hotfixes because it always inevitably breaks everything else. All right, there we go. Makani is now an elderly dog. Everyone is an elderly dog. Okay, see, we're at 12. Okay. Um. Yeah, so they're all good to go, I think. Yeah, A student, A student. We'll have both of you do your homework. Yeah, both of you do homework. And then as soon as they're done with homework, we'll go to the vet clinic. And maybe this will fix that. Um, I don't think we have him here. We'll double check. Yeah, 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 I know. It's fine. I do have him. Passed away to do starvation. No. See, it says he's busy. Okay. Um, Mr. Booby, I, I need you to get out of that so I can feed you. Hey, he got promoted. Nice. Nice. He got promoted. No, you do not get to have a, a job change. You're in that job because you have to be. Why are you very sad? A baby whisked away. There was no baby whisked away. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think we're just going to have to... I think we're going to have to put down a new booby. I think we're going to have to put down a new one, guys. And hi, Xiao. How are you? How's your day going? Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to put down a new booby. Y'all shouldn't be sad. The baby was not whisked away. It's a glitch. How do I... There's no way to cheat their emotion, it looks like. Yeah. Nope, that didn't work. All right, well, I don't know. Yet another glitch. All right, so um, put your, your cold weather outfit on and then we're going to the vet clinic. Yeah, let's go to the vet clinic. Let's see what they need. Are you going to want to playing Sims 2? Nice, nice. Make sure you back up all your stuff because we did have a emergency patch, patch pushed out. So we're going to see what all they broke, which I'm betting is almost everything. Yeah, I'm betting which is almost everything. Yep. All righty. 
Not you, Wyatt. Oh. I was confused by the dog's spots. Okay. So, let's put let's put um a new booby down. Um I think it's under pets maybe. Here we go. Here's a new here's a new booby. And we'll just sell the other one. Yeah, cuz that poor guy was glitched. Yep, cuz see right there. Feed him a treat. Yeah, see there you go. He was just glitched for some odd reason. I don't know. But there we go. Why y'all y'all are trolls? Y'all are trolls. Alright, um for Cedric, I need you. I need Cedric, get back here. So okay, so we need to send her to training and him to training. And everybody else is, is really terrible with their skills. So, well, this is going to be interesting. Only Jake is a troll? No. There's more trolls. Of course, you have to pee. Go use the bathroom and then, then, we'll, then we'll figure out what Cedric is doing. All right. So, Cedric, I need you... To pay for your training. Maybe this will work. I don't see anything else that's like gross. So I think we're good. And thank you for the lurk shout. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. We're not selling much of those. But since we're here... Hold on. So we've already purchased, already purchased, already purchased. So we need the well managed. Yeah, we need the well managed. All right, send him to training. Yes, I know it's almost Ajax. It's almost Sierra's birthday too. Yeah, study hard, because I'm going to promote you. And then for you, I'm going to pay for extensive training for you. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, okay. She's still got a couple of days before she ages up. Uh, Cedric. Cedric. Cedric, where are you? Cedric. Oh, Cedric. Cedric. Oh, there you are, Cedric. What are you doing outside, weirdo? Come here. I need to find out how many days until you die. Oh, we got plenty of time. He's got 10 days before he becomes an elder. All right, we got plenty of time. All right, uh, let's see. Greet the patient. Let's see if we can't get them get them somewhat going. Yeah, that'd be great. Alright, where is this dog? There is the dog. Alright, 
Coda, go elsewhere, please. All right, so temperature. Skin for inspection and listen to your heart. Uh, I can't, y'all quote some of the most random off the wall things. All right, calm the pet. It's an overheated sniffer. Antifungal spray. Welcome back, Danny. Welcome back. Why do your sprinklers hate you? Why, why do they hate you? All right, there you go. See? See, the pup, the, the dog is very happy. Yeah, we know. Call a good pet. And then bill the owner. All right. Four. Go up to a four. Go up to a four. A four. Thank you. Okay, so. That's a good thing. Um, if I give you money, will you go away while I'm woohooing? That, that one was, wow. That one was, wow. Uh, they never go where they should, so you get soaked moving them because you're too lazy to turn them off and move them. That is fair. That is fair. All right, why is there, like, nobody here? Why is nobody taking care of this patient? Greet the patient. Don't, don't look at the rant. What? Oh, we have a random tuna in there. When did we put a tuna in there? This is a random tuna just rolling, like, like floating around and swimming and like doing his own thing. No wonder people are so obsessed with that. Um... It's there to taunt the kitties? It, it might be. It might be. It might be. All right. I'm going to guess this is frost fur fever. Yeah, that's what I'm going to guess this, this poor animal has. Winter fest fever. Okay. Okay, so it's winter fest fever. So give him a fix it all treat. Yep, fix it all treat. There you go. All right, call a good pet. Oh, and thank you, Miss Boon Farm. Yes, it is on the gallery if you guys would like to download it. All right, give me a give me a four. Okay, you're glitched. There we go. We got a four. We got a four. Okay, so who's over here? We have a rando in here, a rando there. Um, calm this pet. Come on, come on. Come on, calm the pet down. Come on, calm it down so we can get that done. Honestly, Cedric, by the time you're done, these other ones will be done with theirs too. I wish I was joking. Mm. Uh, what's my gallery downloads at right now? Um, I haven't... I haven't done the goal announcement. The goal, um, it was, I haven't written down as to what it was, but we're at 4,750 downloads on the gallery. Mm -hmm. It's Apollo's Wellness Clinic. Mm -hmm. We called the vet clinic after Apollo. It is Apollo's Wellness Clinic. Um, I'll show you where it is if, it, if it'll load. 
Sims is just taking forever and a freaking year to load everything today. Um, yes, so third row, last one. Apollo's Wellness Clinic, it's right here. It's what it looks like. And it is in the save file. It is in the save file. So, yes. It's like a bunch of people have been uploading stuff today. So, yeah, have fun with it. Have a fun with it. Oh, Brimstone Ember. Someone downloaded this. I remember this. This is from like forever ago. It's from like over almost a, over a year ago. Yeah. Thank you for the lurk back. Someone forgot to ban meetings. All right. Come on. All right. Mop this up. All right, give give the dog a treat. So okay, so Coda got a four out of you. See, it's gone. All right, Bill. There we go. All right, we're gonna close. We can't do anything about those. But okay, so her vet is ten. Her handiness is ten. Charisma is ten. Nina is maxed out. What about five, five, five? All right, so Cedric's halfway there. Coda has a level 10. Uh, Charisma level nine and handiness level nine. Okay, so it looks like we might have to have all of them at a level maxed out for those levels. All right, um... Yeah, let's go ahead and we'll keep them like that. Um, was this it? Yes. Advertising, we're at the highest. We're at the highest markup. We're at premium supply. I don't know. Um, but right now we have 30k in the um, clinic. So I think we're going to use that 30k for when Ajax moves out. And thank you, Blue Jay. Thank you for banning meetings. Yeah, so um, I need you to mop. I need you to clean everything up. That'd be great. Yeah. Um, can I have you just upgrade all these waterproof things? Because, yeah. Just upgrade all of these. That's the biggest thing. Is if we upgrade the the waterproof, then they won't break as often. And then we don't. Then we don't have to mop as much. Smart. Smart. All right. Fast forward those. What what about Garrison? What is Garrison afraid of? Fear of a dead-end job. You don't have a dead-end job. Oh, hey, we reached level 8. Cool. All right. Oh, we were literally open all night. Oops. And thank you for reminding me to take a drink, Frost. Oopsies. Whoopsies. All right, so school starts very soon for the twins. I'm kind of thinking we should age them up a day early so we can do a little bit of high school gameplay. Because I'm curious about the high school. I'm very curious about the high school part. Oh, hell no. Thank you for redeeming cards against humanity, Wyatt. All right. So, next on Sky Sports, the world champion of blank. 
Vote for one, two, or three. Vote for one, two, or three. Uh, which option you think fits the black card the best? All right, make sure you're voting. You do get two minutes to vote, so if you do not see the poll, you may need to uh, refresh. All right, so yeah, so so tell me tell me your thoughts guys tell me your thought process as to why you picked it Was it just funny? Um, did it seem to fit the best or what what are your thoughts? Oh my gosh You just paid You literally just paid what's wrong with you? She literally just peed. I don't know why she has to pee again. Uh, you always go for funny. Funny. Yeah, it's, honestly, that's the best way to play the, the game is if you go with funny or absurd. Funny or absurd is usually my go-to. I just upgraded you. Why you broke again? What's wrong with you, bots? I don't know what's wrong with the bots. Is she preggo? She's not. No. No, she's not. She shouldn't be. Hold up. She did woohoo. And we do have risky woohoo turned on. She is not. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. But she is about to age up. So there is that. All right. So you guys all went with a tiny baseball player. The panic. Well, I'm like, cause she's about to become an elder. I don't want, I don't want to have a, a repeat of what happened to Julep. That would be very, very, very sad and very, very frustrating for her. Um. So yeah, but thank you for naming Cards Against Humanity. That it's it's one of the fun ones because you never know what you're gonna get with the Cards Against Humanity. Never know. All right, can can you fix, please? Thank you. All right, throw all the throw all that in there. As I, oh my gosh, and that broke too. Well, all right. I'm about to open it back up and just have her sleep on the lot. What do we think, guys? Should we? It's kind of the vibe I'm getting is have her fix everything and then go to sleep. But we open it up so we're on the lot and we get the points for it. All right, see, that was completed. The waterproof, so... It, they shouldn't need us cleaning. Yeah, it shouldn't need us cleaning all the water stuff. Oh, you don't have enough plumbing upgrade parts for that. All right. What about this? Okay, you completed that. What about this? And you completed that. Okay. Okay, that should work. Now, um, can I have you go to sleep now? Thank you. Um, and just cause, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, and get comfy. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. All right, so, um, yeah, she'll be fine. She'll be fine. She's just sleeping in the back. Yeah, she's fine. Oh, that's so sad. Amelie's spirit's fading away. Wait. We need to play with two different ghost pets. Oh, I forgot about all of these. I forgot she didn't finish her friend of animals. Ah! We did play with O'Malley, so we can't play with him again. 
We need um, Duchess to come out of her grave or one of the other animals. Yeah, so we'll have to do that. Um, and Angel Wings, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, and get comfy. Welcome on in, welcome on in. All right, well. See, now she now she's she's fully slept. She's fully awake. I love it. Rachel! Welcome on in, guys. Welcome on in. How are you, my dear? How was stream? What did you get up to? Tell me all the things. I just need to have Delphine sit really quick. Sit. Sit. All right. There we go. All right. I'm going to pop right over here. Um, but Rachel, welcome on in. Welcome on in. How are you guys? How was Rachel's stream? Tell me all the things. What did you get up to? All the things. Uh, we are doing uh, Elemental Legacy today. Uh, hopefully trying to get our um, vet clinic to level four. Four stars. We're at three and a half. So, um, but welcome on in. Welcome on in. Uh, you're still exploring the high school pack. I'm hoping we can do a little bit of the high school pack um, today because Ajax and Sierra, our twins, are almost ready to become high schoolers. So I'd like to explore it a little bit with them. Um, but I wanted to do it within like a storyline versus just like going to the high school. Uh, but welcome on in, guys. If you don't know who I am, my name is Bella. I do a bunch of Sim stuff. Um, the Elemental Legacy. I also am doing Not So Berry. Tomorrow, actually, we are starting the prep work for our 100 Baby Challenge. Uh, round four. So if you would like to help shape how that challenge is going to go, tomorrow is the day to be here for stream. We're going to be voting on a bunch of stuff in chat for it. Um, yeah, so it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, but, Rachel, if you do need to go run and do all the D-Stream stuff, I fully understand. Uh, go and do all of that. Thank you for choosing me to raid. Um, uh, what is the 100 Baby Challenge? So you have to have a 100 babies, um, all with different dads. Uh, that's the base version of it. So, um, what I do is I try to make it a little bit more complicated than that and a little bit more... Um, stressful for me and entertaining for you guys. So, yes. Um, so, yes. I uh, just have to grab a snacky poop. Yes, the mods have made me, do grab made me do a snack time today. Um, so my snack is pretzels. So if you guys have a snack, let them know. Um, let me, let us know what kind of snacks you have. Um, Rachel, I mean, if you if you want to spank people, go ahead. That's that's your that's your that's your thing. Um, we were talking about boobies earlier, so I mean, because I call the bubilis boobies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I mean, it happens. It happens. It happens. We love it. We love it. They add their own chaos. They'll fit right in. They'll fit right in. The mantra of the cabana is chaotic sippage. So, yes, Rachel, go take care of yourself. Go go grab snackies and such. Um, and I have a very, um, real quick about the game. What is your question about the game? I will do my best to answer. I cannot guarantee I will have an answer. Um, but I will try to answer it. Yeah. So. Uh, you do lots of spanking, Rachel's stream. All right. All right. Um, every time you use cheats to build a house, your sim can't reach certain things. And can't fix the issue. So you may have raised an item too high. It's it sound it sounds like you may have you may be raising items too high, um, because if it's uh, if it's of a certain height, um, away from where it's supposed to be, then um, the game can't figure out that it what it what is there. It just knows something is there, and then instead of breaking, it just goes. I don't know. It's a dead area. Thinks it's a wall. It's weird. The game is very weird. The game is very weird. Plus, with the update today, it's also very weird as well. Um, but yeah, but welcome on in, guys. So, if you would like to see, I, we are at the vet clinic right now. Um, here, I show you. I show you. It's nighttime in winter, so it's less pretty. Um, but this is our vet clinic right here. So, we have a bunch of vending machines. We've got all sorts of fun stuff. We've got a backyard where they can use sometimes. I don't think they ever have. Sam. 
Sam, excuse me. Excuse me. What is this? Ma'am. Ma'am, excuse me. Thank you for that, but what the heck? What, 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 what the heck? Oh, and also, uh, Lady Simpson, you reminded me. Uh, so, Lady Simpson, join the different world. Anomaly, uh, TDC, we fly. Thank you all for the follows. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, share, and get comfy. I, no, no, you get, you get back here. You get back here, Missy. Sam, you, you get back here. No, no lurky yet. Mom. Um, thank you for gifting subs. To, and here I smell the Rogue Fate, Miss Boon Farm, Sherry J's Lollipop, Koala Whims, and Gamer Jacob, Kitty U, Kota Bear, and Atomic Ellie. Thank you for that, but you wild in today. Was it today or was it yesterday when you did it? I don't know. You wild in someday. I'm watching you. Um, and hi, Otter General, Otter, Otter General, welcome on in, and hi, Emmy, how are you? How are you? She's very sweet, she is. She is very sweet, and I already know I'm gonna get a, um, a stitch gift from her at some point within the next day or two. Or whenever, whenever, like, we have, a, like, whenever I, I bug her in DMs again. Or she'll probably do it in budget. Who knows? But she usually just throws me with a stitch, throws a stitched gif at me, and then runs away. This is Sam. She is she is ninja. Mhm. Mm um, and welcome on in, Lady Sam. Welcome on in. Um, and welcome on in, Otter. Uh, so Charlie or Otter, I will do my best to remember that. Thank you for letting us know. Um, and the Otter General again. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, and get comfy. So, yes, we are we are desperately trying to um We are desperately trying to um work on this uh vet clinic. We are at four three and a half stars. We're trying to get our fourth star. And it's just it's not going in my favor. Oh, but also too, I did mention him. Oh, Woo, sorry about that. Um, but let me introduce you to our our friend. This is Bubalis. Um, also known as, as as boobies. No, I don't want to see your butt. There you go. See, I'm not quite sure what he is. It's a purple sheep ram platypus hamster thing. So I'm not sh quite sure. So, yeah, not not quite sure, but he's cute, and also we had a whole conversation about how uh, we used to write the word boobies upside down in our calculators, because we could, and because we were like 10. So, and yes, this is on the gallery. If you do exclamation point gallery, that'll give you my gallery ID so you can copy and paste. Oh, is it a void critter? That explains why I didn't know what it was. That explains it. Thank you, Wyatt. Um, yes, yeah, so this vet clinic is called Apollo's Wellness Clinic. And um, it is named after my pupper. So, yes. What it what do you do? Oh, you're you're mean and you like being mean to people. Okay. Stop looking at the tuna! Delphine, I need you to stop looking at the tuna. I have a random tuna in this uh, fish tank. I don't know why I have a tuna in there, but I do. So, yay, random tuna. Exactly, Slice of Life, exactly. Um, but yeah, so basically that, that's been our goal today. Is get the, get the vet to a certain level. Um, and get our kids to teenagers. Because we have twins. Um, it's just, it's, it's a mess. Uh, yes, I believe it is. Oh, hold on. I think that's the command. 
Yeah. There's even a whole TikTok about it. There's even a whole TikTok about it. All right. Can you just, like, clean this up so we can get... So we can have you, like, take care of pets and such? Yes? All right. Why have we only had one? We've made a certain... We've made a lot of money, but, um... No, I wanted to save our, our stuff. And she goes in and takes a bath. Of course she does. Of course she does. Of course she does. The, it, this has been a dumpster fire. The whole thing has been a dumpster fire. Why are you so grossed out? I'm not happy with how this place looks. Alright, we'll come greet the patient. Since no one else has. I don't know why you don't like how the place look. Oh. Really? It's because there's poop in the litter box? Yeah. A cat's got to poop. Granted, I don't like clearing, cleaning litter boxes either. But... I mean, that's, that's no reason to shame... Um, and Fearing Pepper, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, and get comfy. Welcome on in. Yeah. All right. Well, can we have both of you, like, take care of these animals, please? I do have an outdoor trash can. See? They're right there. I give up. I give up. Wait, 2,000? <gasps> Hold up, did somebody buy our ambrosia treat? Did somebody buy an ambrosia treat? I think that's what that was. Yes, they did. Someone brought, someone bought an ambrosia treat and we made 2,000 simoleons off them. All right, all right. I think I'm good with that. Although these wants and whims system is really getting on my nerves, I'm just saying. All right, go go take care of all these things. See again, two thousand. Please tell me that's what it was. It was all right. So we're making two grand. Very nice, very nice. So yes, the best way to make money is to craft all the treats you can and put those in the vending machines uh, because people will randomly buy them. We made 7,000 simoleons with only five customers. I'm good with that. Um, your sim has had to regain passion for her job. Yeah, it's... It's too overpowered. That's, that's the thing, is it's too overpowered. Like, she still has a fear about getting cheated on, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, she's a terrified of being cheated on. She's terrified of death. And she's terrified of... Um, her dream's not going, but this is her dream. That's the, that's the problem is this is her dream. Owning a vet clinic was her dream. So the fact that now all of a sudden she has this. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, it, it doesn't, it doesn't follow the storyline. It takes away the, the storyline creation from the simmer. Are you hungry or anything? You are not. Cedric, you are going to get bit? No? Okay, good. I was going to say, if you get bit, one, I will laugh. All right, okay, why are you feeling flirty after playing with, with, with Bubilis? I, I have concerns. You shouldn't be feeling flirty and everything like that after playing with a rodent. That's very odd. Very odd. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. That That's like borderline creepy. Please don't do. Please don't do. Alright, well once she finishes making this, since they're all just standing around 
and not actually helping any of our, our customers, we're going to close. Actually, yeah, probably best to go ahead and close now. We've been open for nine hours. We've made 8,000. All right, so we're solidly at three and a half stars. That's not bad. That's a good thing. All right, so everyone's very satisfied. Good, good, good. All right, throw this last one in here. Throw that in there. Now go home. Thank you. Go home. All right, so it's the kid, it's the twins' last day of um, middle school. Um, it's creepy how Sims turn into, wait, Sims turn into giant rodent ghosts if they die from the rodent fever? Wait, really? I've never actually had a Sim die from that. So you're telling me they don't just, like, turn, they don't just, like, die and then have the rodent wheel inside their chest? Like with all the other deaths? They actually turn into a giant rodent? That is creepy. That is creepy. That is very creepy. I I could never. I could never. All right. Oh, I was gonna say, is that a ghost? It's not. Speaking of ghosts, um, I need Duchess to come forward. Wait, what is this? Why is there a trash plant back here? Who put a trash plant next to next to my sim? Not my sim behind all here. Ew. Sell those. We don't. We don't want those. No, ew. But she does need to, so basically we still have to finish the friend of the animals. And then we have to, um. Oh, she's going to pee herself. Yeah, she's, she's going to pee herself. Well. All right, so we strengthen the connection. Um, okay. So then how can we saw O'Malley but we didn't see Duchess? Confusion. Sims now have anxiety. I know and I don't like it. I play Sims so I don't have to think about my anxiety. I don't want my anxiety in the game. All right, so. Uh, wait, no, no, not harvest all. I want you to sell all. Yeah, sell all. Yeah, sell all of these. Thank you. So Ajax is our heir for the next generation, which I believe is Earth. And I think that that is... Yeah, Earth is eco-lifestyle. So Earth is eco-lifestyle. Uh, so we'll be living in a tiny home in... Um, that or an apartment. We might go to an apartment first. So we'll be going to Evergreen Harbor. Yeah, we'll be going to Evergreen Harbor. Um, no, our sim is not a spellcaster. Um, I considered it, but it just, it won't fit our storyline for her to be a spellcaster. Sadly, because I, I do like the spellcasters. Um, so, and we're not wanting to bring them back. Um, we're just wanting them to appear as ghosts. Because I do have to interact with two ghost animals and I don't see any ghost strays right now so we have two dead animals 
and their gravestones in the backyard, why not make use of that? All right, both of you study hard. Enjoy your last day of elementary just school. As I am. And Munchkin, thank you for the host. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. How are you, my dear? Oh, I forgot about this. Uh, come tend the table. Were you playing in the bathtub? You were, weren't you? Oh! He needs to get a level 6 logic skill. Alright. Um, I do, I do need you to, to change into your, your winter wear, please. Thank you. And start your yard sale. Wait, what is this tiny thing right here? Oh, it's an egg! Huh! Alright. Alright. Fair. Try to sell this stuff so we can get rid of it. Okay, thanks. Um, you're good, Ted Tired from Bed Night Sleep. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. Why do I see Pete? Ah. Come repair this. And then, ooh, ooh, wait. And then you can upgrade the beds. Yes, you can. You can upgrade the beds. Ooh, an honor roll bully. Uh, find the culprit. Take care of it yourself. Yeah, no. Take care of it yourself. That's the best way to deal with a bully is to take care of it all on your own. Yep, because then you can humiliate them and nobody will be the wiser. But only do it to people that like are treating you terribly and like do it in like a nice way to where like they get embarrassed. Don't like absolutely ruin their lives. Um, it's just so hot and it's hard to sleep. That is true. That is true. That is very true. Um, oh, so, oh, oh, hold up. So EA did release a statement about the early access mods. Wait, hold on. EA, where's EA? Okay, EA spokesperson confirmed early access. Okay, so they may still run a reasonable early access period for their content. Oh, thank goodness. Because I know that was... The possibility of that going away was absolutely devastating for a lot of creators. So, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Um, for those that didn't know, um, EA did release an updated policy um, regarding modding and The Sims. So if you use mods, definitely you're going to want to check out what the mods, um, what the, what all of the requirements and everything are for mods are now. Um, and one of the things that we, they were blocking and that they, um, said absolutely no more of and even set up a reporting system, um, is for the modders and CC creators that were locking things behind a permanent paywall, um, because... Mods and CC are designed to be free for everybody. Um, early access is meant to be a testing for bugs type thing. Not a, um, not anything else. So, there was an uptick in people that were locking their stuff behind paywalls. And not even like $1, $5 paywalls. Like, they, some people were charging $50 a month. And then you only got access to... A certain number of downloads per month which is wrong just on so many on so many levels but yeah so that's what EA was cracking down on oh 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 hold on we had a cat fight Gorbosh decided he didn't like the guy fantastic I love that um so yes EA cracked down on those that were doing the perma paywalls for 
exorbitant prices. Basically, they were taking care of, they were taking advantage of people's generosity. So, hopefully that can block people who, that are taking advantage of it. Um, so, yes. Now that they've made it clear that they do still allow reasonable amount of time for early access, I, I think a lot of people will be a lot more at ease about the new policy. Yeah. Okay. Oh, nice. She's a level nine handiness. Cool. No petting, Makani. Finish fixing your children's beds. Thank you. All right. Hey, that's this is good. This is good for us. Um, and hi, Mon. Thank you for the lurk. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you wonder if the same finners will continue to keep their stuff behind a paywall. Uh, there's already been people that have started mass reporting those people. Um, there was somebody who had already compiled a master list that I heard about um, that made a statement stating that they were giving all the creators on the list um, 24 hours to release or take down all their content. Otherwise, they were going to start sending reports in on them. So, I, I, I definitely think that the perma paywalling is now a thing of the past. And it should be. It should be. Um, the two you're thinking of are on vacation right now. Yeah, so, like, once the, once people get back, like, yeah, there's there's a reasonable amount of time for people to, to do stuff. Um, whether or not EA will allow that, we'll see. We shall see. Oh, wait. Yard sale. Restart your yard sale. You've just been doing a pitch call to nobody. All right. Can you finish Ajax's bed before he gets home from school? Because that'd be wonderful if you could. You're also exhausted. Of course you are. Um, I would seem to be on when you get up. It's 5.30 a.m. Really? Um... So, are you in, um, like, Australia? Uh, because, yeah, I get... Would that be? Because it's 3 right now for me. 3.30 p.m. So, it'd be 8.30 UK. Am I correct on that? Yeah, so 3.30 is, yeah, so 8.30 in the UK, yes. That's really cool, though. That is really cool. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I guess it would be Australia, New Zealand, all those, all the Pacific areas, yeah. Yeah, that would, yeah, that would make sense. That would make sense, okay. I'm just proud I calculated time zones correctly, y'all. Bubbles is hungry. Why is Bubbles hungry? Is there just, like, no food or something? There's food. Bubbles, go eat. Oh, wait, you have to tend the table. Oi, Bubbles, go eat. Thank you. Yeah, Bubbles, there is food in front of you. Thank you. Yeah, see, Bubbles is eating now. I don't know what Nanook is doing. Yeah, both of you, all of you come inside. Thank you. Uh, so it's the third for you. For Australia, yes. Yes. Um, where is it midnight right now? Is it is it midnight any, anywhere that I would recognize? Oh, let me see. Um, no. In Dubai, it's 11.30 p.m. Okay. So, somewhere over there. All right. So, everyone's home from school. Good. Now, here's the question, guys. Here is the question. So, we're going to do a quick poll on this. Where is, where is my polls? There's my polls. All right. All right. 
All right, so our options are And all right, so here are our options. So we can either age the children up early. By early, I mean age them up today on Thursday, even though their birthday is on Friday. Um, so that way they can go to... Wait, no, hold on. No, never mind. Scratch that poll. Their birthday is right now. Their birthday is Thursday. I thought their birthday was on Friday. No. Okay, so scratch the poll. We Go ahead and vote however you want. Um, but we should have done this poll before they went to school. Do they have a cake by chance? I doubt that they do not. All right, they do not. All right, we're going to need to get rid of the get rid of these. Yeah, sell those. Okay, so we're going to have to build a, a bake a cake um, and age them up. So then that means, guys, when they go to school on... Um, Friday, they'll be going to the high school. And hi, Scarlet Squish, how are you? How's your day going? Welcome on in, and thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, here, and get comfy. I was looking at the calendar all wrong. Well, there goes me being proud of uh, of all of those. Yeah, there, there goes me being proud of that, of knowing my, my timing and such. So, all right. What are y'all doing here? Go away. Why are you creeping outside my house? Get. Get. I, I will set Gorbosh on you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my gallery name, if you do exclamation point gallery, um, it'll pop it up in a chat so you can copy and paste it. Uh, but my gallery name, my name on is the same across all platforms. It is Bella Lasai, all one word. Um, I did that on purpose so that way you guys would never have to guess what what my name was on each platform um so yeah all right so yeah their their birthday's actually today i thought it was tomorrow that's my bad why are you napping there your bed is done is it not go sleep up here both of you go to sleep yeah both of you go to sleep because we're gonna need to um Yeah, we got to bake a cake. So everyone go to sleep. Cuz your mama's got to bake a cake and then we're going to we're going to age them up. And thank you Frost, thank you, thank you. Um yes, and this house is on the gallery. It is called Dogwood Acres. And the vet clinic is on the gallery as well. Um, can we do a, what kind of cake can we do? We're going to do a blue confetti cake. Yeah, we're going to do a blue confetti cake. I like it. Um, am I doing a challenge in a gameplay? Yes, so this is the Elemental Legacy Challenge. It's a challenge I created with my friend Jake. Um, basically, each generation will follow a different pack. Nanook! Why are you running away, dude? Why are you running away? I, uh, why are you running away? No, no run away. No run away. You stay here. Uh, Nanook. Come back here. Scoozy. Nanook, no. Get, no, Nanook. No running away. That little snot. Now we got to figure out how to do it on the new phone. Um, but, and so yes, uh, I got so distracted on that. And hi, Ella, welcome on in, welcome on in. Um, so yes, so the Elemental Legacy Challenge is a challenge that, um, follows each generation is a different pack. Um, and where is it?
Oh, there it is. I this new phone system is so confusing. It's so confusing. Um, but yes, so um, the one that we are currently on is the animal generation. So we are playing with cats and dogs. All right, pause. Add birthday candles. All right, so Delphine will have everybody on the lookout. All right. Ajax, come here and come blow your candles out. And uh, Sierra, come here and sit and celebrate your brother. Oh, but she has, she's a hot mess too. Oh dear, use the bathroom, take a shower, all these things. All right, well, Ajax, it is your birthday. Garrison's home just in time, but he's gonna pass out. You know what? That seems to be a theme with my Sims. That seems to be a theme, so. All right, Ajax has aged up. Uh, let us see, so Ajax, his traits are all preset for us. Uh, so we have to go with either Recycle Disciple or maker so we have maker where's recycle disciple recycle disciple okay so we have the option for either one now what i would like you guys to do which trait let me know which one do you want to be his um his uh team trait so do you want him to be a maker or a Recycle Disciple. Alrighty, go ahead and vote. If you do not see the poll, you may need to refresh the stream. Um, but yeah, go ahead and vote and tell me which, which trait you think he should have. Should he have Maker or Recycle Disciple? Recycle Disciples description says these sims are rabid recyclers that benefit from recycling and rummaging for bits and pieces But should they go too long without indulging in their hobby dot dot dot? Strange things may happen and For maker these sims become happy when making things they become sad when it's been too long since completing a project on a fabricator candle making station juice fizzer or word woodworking table they do not receive negative effects from crafting or repair failures so go ahead and vote in the poll which one do you think it should be should he go with a maker or recycle disciple this is for his teen trait he has to have one or the other so which one do you want to have for the teen trait and yes i do see that he has a mohawk we are going to be changing that that does not fit the vibe. That is the um, randomization. Yeah. He'll get both eventually, but which do you want him to have first? Um, and uh, do you have control with your dogs? So no, if, if you are click the dogs, um, all it does is send you to where they are currently standing um, or laying down if they're laying down, but you do, cannot uh, have them do anything to control them sadly i wish you could i'm pretty sure there's a mod for that though but yeah all right guys if you do not like how the poll is going now is your chance to change it you got like 20 seconds left on the poll so make sure that you are vote vote voting this is to determine ajax's teen trait all right and he is going to be a maker all right, we should go with a maker. And then for aspiration, he has to go with the eco innovator aspiration, which. Ha! I was right. I was right. Okie dokie. Yeah, add the birthday candles. Oh, hey! Oh, no, that's right. I added the lifetime skills mod in. That's right. That's right. I have the new, I have Twisted Mexi's uh, lifetime skills in there. That's right. I was like, what the heck? All right, Sierra, it is your turn. And then 
we get to do a quick little makeover. I'm very excited for the makeover. Very, very, very excited for the makeover. All right. And Sierra. Um, just to make sure the, um... All right, it is unpaused. So, Sierra, let's see. Randomizer, give me a number one through four. Wait, no. Hold on. We have more than that. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. We have one through sixteen. Eleven. All right. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Nature. Okay. So, it's going to be two, four, six, eight. So this is going to be out of eight. Interesting. She wants to explore the jungle. All right. Okie doke. So let us just find out what her second trait is going to be. Sierra is a slob who is also a loner. Okay. Do we like loner? If we like loner. Nope. Bex does not like loner. All right, romantic. All right, if we like romantic, then I will go ahead and lock it in in five, four, three. Nope, Bex, Bex wants to re-roll, all right. Jealous. Okay, so if we like Jealous for Sierra, nope, Wyatt does not. Art Lover. All right, so if we like Art Lover for Sierra, then I will lock it in in five, four, three, two, one. Z um, and Amy, okay. Geek. And fearsome for the last one. Vegetarian. I am overruling that because vegetarian and lactose intolerant, I'm, I'm of the opinion that they shouldn't have that. So do you guys agree? Should we re-roll um, vegetarian on the basis of it being a lifestyle versus... A personality trait. And thank you for the drink reminder, Ella. Hi, Sam. Keep it? No, keep it? All right, we'll keep it then. All right, we shall keep it. All right. Wait, no, no ad birthday candles. No, uh, you're going to clean it up, though, because you, you guys don't need to eat it. All right, uh, but you definitely need a shower. She cute, though. I know you stink. Yeah, uh, here, go upstairs and take a shower. Thank you. Ajax, on the other hand. I mean, he cute. I'm not feeling the mohawk, but he cute. Okay, okay. Come here, Ajax. Yep, let, let's get you up here. All right, so quick makeover because we need to. All right. So, um, first things first. Um, actually, first things first for Ajax. 
Um, do we keep the glasses? Yes or no? He wears contacts now. So, go ahead and vote. Do we keep his kid glasses to where he wears glasses? Or do we say he wears contacts now? His name is Ajax Wyatt. No. We're not keeping the mohawk. We're not keeping the mohawk. I do love his blue eyes, though. Uh, Pax. We're going with an eco lifestyle hair. I kind of like, yeah, I like that for him. Um, what options do we have for glasses now? So, these are the glasses. We have a bunch, actually. So, we have these. Um, his childhood glasses were framed like this. So these are the glasses options. So do we keep him in glasses? Yes or no? They're not bad. If I had to go with glasses, I would think I would go with these. I think I would go with these glasses for him. If we go with glasses, it'll probably be these glasses. A buzz cut? Why should it be, why should it, we go with a buzz cut for him? All right, so you guys do want to keep his glasses. All right. All right, so we shall go with his glasses. It's this one, the third one. All right, give me just a sec while I drop the glasses across everything. Yes, you still have to wear glasses when you're swimming. Glasses are not a fashion icon. They are a vision assistance tool. All right. All right. So here's my next thing. Here's the next thing. All right, um, should he get, should we have him get a tat? So I'm think, the way that I'm thinking is I'm thinking he is the type that would have a, um, his name is Ajax. Not Francis, his name is Ajax. Um, so he strikes me as the type that would have, um, subtle piercings. And maybe a tattoo. Ajax, not Francis. We are going with Ajax because Ajax is a Greek name that means of the earth. For the earth generation. His name is not, Ajax is not Francis. No. Francis has an entirely different meaning. And from an entirely different language of origin too. So no, Ajax. All right, he, his colors are green, yellow, and blue.
All right, so here are our color options. We are going to try to go with um, eco lifestyle as much as possible. Um, but honestly, I really hate like the clothing from eco lifestyle. That's not bad, but I still hate it. Yeah, so we're not going with that. We're not going with that. Yeah, we're, we're not going with this. We're not going with this outfit. Nope. Not this top. Nope. I mean, it's not bad. It's just not great for an everyday outfit. And there's really no options. Yeah, we, we need teen specific clothes. Uh, absolutely not. No. No. Yeah, I'm gonna go with all these clothes suck. Yeah, I'm gonna go with all these clothes suck for guys. Yeah. Um, a sprain wipe, Ajax sprain wipe. Yes. Yes. Um, uh, the um, I'm pretty sure there's a um, a powder version of the cleaner too. All right. So a black. Yeah, I, that's what I was kind of going for. No. No, kind of, but no. I mean, like I said, this isn't bad. I think this is something that he would wear as a young adult versus a teenager. It just doesn't say teenager to me. And that's what I'm looking for, is a teenager feel. If this was solid color, I would have said yes, but it's not solid color. I mean, this isn't bad. There we go. That's actually kind of cool. Okay, this looks thrifted. This looks thrifted. So I kind of like it. Um, I will go ahead and give him the eco lifestyle jeans. Um, because those aren't bad. Or they weren't last I remembered. Okay, maybe they are as bad as I remembered. I mean, they're not terrible, but they're not great. Yeah, I'm kind of going thinking these are the best way. Green, yellow, blue. I guess that could be kind of yellow, yellowy or something. No, we'll do that. Because it's got the yellow there. The yellow can match that. Yeah. Eco lifestyle clothing is definitely something. Definitely something. At least they give us good shoes. At least it gave us good shoes. I will I will say that. 
an eco lifestyle for all its its weirdness did give us good shoes. All right, so okay. What? No, 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 no. I don't know what I'm looking at, but I, I no. Of course, there's no formal, formal eco lifestyle. Of course there's not. Why would there be? Of course not. What's something that looks so, the th the vibe that I'm going um, with is like a thrifted version. So, something he would have thrifted, like this. This is definitely an outfit he would have thrifted. Yeah, we're going to go with this. We're going to go with this. Yeah, we'll go we'll go with that. Definitely thrifted. Is there a hat you can wear? <laughs> I didn't expect that to work, but it kind of does. Bellabot, read the room. That kind of works. 100% was not expected to work. It was not meant to work. Um, but it kind of does, so I'm keeping it. No, that does not fit at all. You know what? What if we gave him... Like, the new high school clothes, plus where is the... Do we have new high school shoes that are athletic? No. I guess that'd be too much to ask for. I guess that would be too much to ask for. To give us men's clothes in a new pack. Yes, I'm a little bit salty. I'm a little bit salty over the lack of men's clothes. All right, so pants, yes, these definitely. Um, we're going to go with the light blue. Um, what about tops? Do we have an eco lifestyle top? We do not. But. No. If we could have gotten like. Actually, you know what? No. This I definitely think we're going to let him wear. Um, because it does kind of look thrifted. It does look like he pulled it out of somewhere. Yeah. I need a yellow though. Wait! Give me yellow bunny slippers! Yes! Okay. Um. What? What is this from? I have never, ever, ever seen a Sim wear this. Maybe that, but never this shade. I have so many questions. So many questions. All right, so the vibe we're going for with him is he thrifted his clothes. Wait, or like this. Because, yeah, his colors are green, yellow, and blue. So if we go with this green, there's a blue on the sleeve. This is what we were looking for. I do like this though for his everyday. We'll keep that for his party wear. Bottoms, we're just gonna go with jeans. Just regular blue jeans. Like the bluiest blue jeans we can find. 
No. Those kind of look thrifted. But the coloring's off. That might work. Because I'm looking to match... If we go with these pants, I'm looking to match this with the jacket. Oh, uh, what about this? No, those are too nice. Yeah, we're going to go with this. We're going to go with this. And then shoes. Is there... A, right, let's go with eco. No. Of course not. Of course not. That would be too simple. All right. And nothing with the new pack either. Mm, I don't like those actually. Oh, I hate those. Those look really silly, but I kind of love them. It matches parts of the shirt, so we'll go with it. Swimwear? Um. Of course, nothing from that pack. Hey, that actually kind of works. Sure, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. Um, hmm, what, what do we want to do for the hot weather? This looks, this looks like it could have been thrifted. Okay, this has all the colors. No, I kind of like this better. What do, what do we think? Does this does this give off I it was thrifted vibes? Uh -huh. No, I don't like those. Oh wait, there were shoes. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Okay, what do we think of this outfit? Do we like this outfit? Do we like this outfit? What are what are our thoughts? Yes, no. I rarely use kits when I'm like for the outfit, so I'm on the fence. What do we think? Yes, no, maybe. You think yes, Lucy? All right. Yes. I kind of like the well the frayed the frayed bottoms looks like it was uh, like he thrifted it and chopped it at the in order to make it into shorts. Um. Yeah. Okay. I think we're gonna go with that. What is this from? This is from. No idea. All right, so let's try to find an eco outfit for this. Okay, this isn't bad, actually. Not bad. No. Eh. Okay, so this might work. Actually, I kind of like that better. And then the bottoms. Um, giving him a greenish one. Greenish pants. No. Okay. Okay. I do like those. And then... Boots? Like these type boots? No. What's considered yellow? That's what this game considers yellow. 
Okay. Um. These are the least offensive yellow ones that I could find. They are very interesting. They are very interesting. Yeah. They're they're very there's something. Yeah, they're, they're definitely an interesting thing. So. I mean, that's the colors and that's the, um, that's the generation. Generation is eco lifestyle and eco lifestyle is definitely not about how your style looks. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we do have Sierra. Um, I am going to dress Sierra in eco lifestyle, but I'm not going to stick to a color, if that makes sense. Maybe. We're, we're going to see how this goes with it. Ajax is the heir already. We've already decided that. Um, but I, I want to see what the female version of eco lifestyle clothes are. Hi, Stacy. How are you? Why are your legs going to fall off? What'd you do? What, what, what'd you do? Okay. Now this is cute. No, we'll, we're going to go with this. Maybe. We're going to Oh god, no yellow. Oh god, that was that was horrifying. Never again. Um, I'm looking for shoes. And I hate most of the shoes I'm seeing. So, Oh, these shoes. Oh, my God. I have stories about sh about those types of shoes. I don't know if I can tell them, though. That works. That works. Uh, I've been hoofing around the city all day waiting for a sister. Really? Were those Lizzie McGuire? No, I don't think they were Lizzie McGuire shoes. I think, um. No, well, the ones that I had were definitely not Lizzie McGuire shoes. Okay, how come they. The, ooh. Okay, little black dress, I guess. Give me give me black heels. Cute heels. Not weird heels. No. There you go. Give, give me cute little heels. I like her hair, so we're going to keep her hair the way it is. I actually don't hate that. So I think I'll let her keep it. I really don't like these. So we're going to give her. Oh, wait. I'm just going to give her the regular black ones. That works. And then bunny slippers. Because we can. Uh, Lizzie McGuire. So they were platform slides, but they weren't. Those weren't slides. Those were flip flops. 
All right, I, I'm gonna say massive no to that, but we'll go with this. I actually don't hate those. Uh, maybe a s eco skirt? Is there an eco skirt? That is the question. Is there an eco skirt? I don't think there is. My bunny's, oh, there is, okay. That's all the eco there is? I mean... I... Yeah, these are... These are definitely oddball stuff. So, um, no eco lifestyle. What about... No! Oh my god, like... Okay, that's not terrible. No, it, it, it's bad. It's bad! Everything's bad! Nope, we're going with those. No, no, we're going with those. We're going with those. We're going with those. Um, slides are flip-flops with one strap instead of a toe wedgie. Yeah, so, um, those are just regular slip-ons, uh, here. Uh, flip-flops have the toe thingy, and the ones that she had on earlier that I had her in first were, uh, the ones with the toe thingy, I think. Let me see if I can find them again. Yeah, these have the toe thingy. Yeah. Talk about a 70s vibe. We're going with it. Okay. Um, different, different. Yeah. Di different bottoms, please. Okay. This isn't. I like the yellow. I like the yellow. I like the yellow and black. She does look like a bumblebee, but it's not terrible. Not terrible. EA has never heard of high waist. Everything must be low rise. Low rise and um, crop top. Yes. Low rise and crop top. See, like, look at all of the, like, all the eco lifestyle stuff was so cute for the women, but then they gave the guys, like, nothing. Yeah, so rude. Very rude. Now, eco lifestyle, but then you get, like, these. And only some of the eco lifestyle are nice. So we're just gonna ignore that. Here's the real trick. Can any of these boots tuck in? They can, but only specific ones. Well, that's a ripoff. What if I want my boots tucked in? I want root. Okay, that's just, that's, hmm. Irritating. But all right, so. Wrong one. All right, so we have Ajax now, and then we have um, Sierra. All right. You're counting that one? Fair. Uh, yeah, probably. I would say probably have missed some. Yeah. So. Uh, 
All right, you gonna load? Game, hello. Hello. Sims, hello. Hello, anyone home? Hello, Sims. Wake up, wake up, Sims. Hello, thank you. I figured if I said hello enough times uh, that um, it would load. So, yeah, we'll go with it. Um, and why do I have a rude counter? So, my rude counter is because I say the word rude a lot. Um, we used to have a bunch of counters, but it was just too hard to keep up with. Uh, so we just kind of stuck with the root counter. Um, but yeah, the root counter basically, um, counts how many times a stream I say the word root. Guys, guys, mm -hmm. Growls loudly, Bella Sims, wakey, wakey. Thank you for that 007. Yes. I say it quite a bit. Mm-hmm. All right, so I'm gonna need both of you kids to do homework, please. Oh, there's a bunch of other. St How'd you get all this other stuff? I, I don't. Vitality fun of uh, that 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 fertilizer, all that stuff. All right, why is there? Oh my God, these Sims. All right. We don't have it open, do we? We do not. So, all right, guys. Yeah, yeah you got you lot with your buttons. With your, yeah, with your buttons. Um, all right. So, I do have a bunch of stuff I do need to get going, uh, get working on today for you guys. So, I think, despite our best efforts, I think we're going to have to po postpone the, um, High school exploration stuff until uh, the next stream, uh, which is currently scheduled for Thursday. So, yes. But, yeah. So, uh, let me save one more time to make sure it's saved because Sims be twitchy. Um, but I do have some stuff I do need to film for you guys. Um, a couple things I need to edit. I do have two YouTube videos that need to be edited. So... I think this is a good place for us to wrap it up for today. Um, tomorrow, remember, we are going to be doing 100 Baby. Uh, so um, if you guys would like to help shape the 100 Baby as far as just some um, little quirks and stuff for the series, uh, for the, the challenge, we're going to be voting on a bunch of stuff. If you have any mods or CC that you'd like me to consider using for it, um, you can definitely let me know and I will look into them. Uh, cause I definitely do plan on modding and using a bunch of CC for the Hunter Baby Challenge. Cause all the Hunter Baby Challenges I've done up to this point have been very vanilla. Even though we did have an extreme version where it was like all a hundred, all a hundred kids before the matriarch was a, um, a young, an adult. Um, this time we're going to turn for sure. We are turning aging on and the matriarch is a spellcaster. So far, that's all that we've kind of ironed out for it. Um. So hopefully after tomorrow, we'll be able to have a um, full kind of figure, figured out idea of what we're going to do for the plan. Uh, one of the things we are also going to vote on is the method of um, disposing of the dads, if we're just going to let them go or if we're going to uh, do something similar. I don't want to do like the, the sending them to Vlad again, um, that route, because we've done that. I want to try something new. So, just brainstorm about it, think about it, and yeah. So, um, I think with that being said, I don't have anything else for you. Oh, Thursday um, stream start time is going to be fluid. Um, if we have a stream at all, uh, it'll depend on my doctor's appointment. So, yes. But, alright, we are going to head over to this person. Um, yes. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Nope, I think I'm good. So, all right, go ahead and grab your raid messages. And we are going to send some love over to this person. And thank you for those biddies, 007. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so we won't worry about any of that today. Uh, we will vote on all of that tomorrow. Um, so if you have any ideas, you can drop them in the Discord. So, all right. Yes. 
I will send you guys over here. Um, uh, basically, I'm gonna let you. So, uh, Sparky and I are both kind of in the same position. Both of us are really close to um, starting the partner push. So, um, any lurking that you do for me um, is very much appreciated. So, big love to all the um, love and thank all the lurkers and everything like that. Um, so. You may, you may see some stuff coming up with the both of us in the future. We we are talking of things. I will tell you there are a lot of things coming your way from me. And I hope you guys enjoy. So, with that teaser being thrown in there, we're going to send some love over to Sparky. So, pile on in for the raid. And I will see you guys all back here tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's start time is a little bit fluid, but we'll figure it out. So, um, may start early. We'll see. But... All right. I will see you guys all later. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye.